Mic check, mic check, mic check. Can y'all hear me okay? Can y'all hear me okay? Hello, Commander. Do you read? Do you read me, Commander? Do you read me? Hello? Is anyone out there? Ah, Mr. Just In Case can hear me. Excellent, excellent. Now, for part two. For part two, we add in the sound of the video game, maybe. Or maybe not. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Hello and welcome! It has been a long time since we've played this game. Hello, Basil Tech. Hello, Old Snapper. Hello, Dallas Reinhardt. Hello, Kit Sorens. Welcome back. Hello, Ham Pants. Hello, Matt Melton. Hello, Greenbrier. Oh, seven. The seventh version of Greenbrier. Hello, Matt Blom. It has been a long time. Welcome to chat. Congratulations on your uh, golden commander hat there. Hello, Zonkel42. Hello, Jun Peel. Hello, Just In Case. Welcome all. Welcome all. Today, we are going to be playing some Boodle Tech 2018 game. Um, it has been, I, I started like a new campaign maybe four months ago. But I never got around to uh, finishing it, really. Uh, never really got around to finishing it. Um, or really getting very far um, before it's not. But but people, um, people, I guess, wanted to see me play some Battletech. And I've never actually completed the actual normal campaign. Um, it was fairly close between um, the original campaign and like the 62 mod. Um, although after I looked, there are a bunch of other mods as well that uh, do very well, I guess. Um, that are that are quite popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still looks like we're still dealing with some dropped frames. Um, we might need to tone down the settings of the actual game itself, and I might need to go back and um, adjust everything down, um, tune everything down. Perhaps a little less for the essentials would be nice, but having all those buildings is nice. I wish another miniature game used cardboard buildings and terrain sets. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm from second edition. I love the cardboard standees. Yeah, they do include um, some cardboard standees. We're talking about the um, tabletop game. Uh, they do include some tabletop standees um, in the in the in in some of the sets, which I which I kind of like. Um, but really. Um, they're pretty miniatures agnostic from what I hear so um, which is nice so you can proxy your own your own stuff and stuff Rogue Tech and Vance 3062 are the primo mod packs yeah there was a lot of debate as I was reading online which the better mod pack was um, which one was like the most newbie friendly um, I, I don't really personally want like a whole lot of stuff that I could do like I don't want to be able to do literally anything um, I think some limitations um, creates creativity, and I think that's a that's a good thing for a game like this. Um, too much control lets you create some completely whack things. Uh, Rogue Tech gets very unstable when streaming it, though. Oh, are there a lot of calculations? I was looking at one called Bex. Apparently, it was um, it was BattleTech. I don't know Bex BattleTech Extended or something like that. That one was like a little. Um, less do whatever you wanted kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't ever stepped out into modding, um, and I don't know what mods you need. As you can see above me, um, I only have Flashpoint and uh, I only have the base game. I don't even have Flashpoint, Urban Warfare, Heavy Metal, really. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's see here. So I think this should be nice to us. Um, if not, I can pop into the settings but let's go and see um see what uh where we left off like what what was going on here uh load um slick right that was our name oh we spent almost a whole year wow okay interesting interesting let's set this up a little bit
Jason Farley, hey nerdy, I'm just looking to get back into Battletech again after many years. I last played back in the 90s, and I'm trying to get my hand head around BB. Uh, welcome, first of all. Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you uh, glad you found it on your little Battletech journey or um, re-entry into Battletech. Um, BV is... There's two types of BV from what I understand. The current version of BV that's the most quote-unquote balanced, although it's not completely balanced, um, is uh, BV2. So you would look at the battle value 2 of the, uh, of the mech, and then that's kind of your point. So if you're playing like a... Um, if you're playing a game, you might want to play 6,000 BV against, um, you know, your opponent's 6,000 BV. Or if, or if you're a newer player, maybe you can um, ask for a handicap. So maybe you want to play like 5,000 BV, um, and your opponent has like 4,000 BV or something like that. It's like balance. It's yeah, it's for balancing purposes, um, but not yeah for not tonnage. Okay, let's start this. Command interface initiated. How's the um how's the game um how's the game balance? Like the sound balance, does that sound okay? What are we doing here? <clears throat> what are we doing here and what mechs do we have? Oh, let me pull myself up a little bit. I'll sit on this, I guess. That should be good. And then I'll sit here. Is that good? It isn't too loud. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can. No. Do I play from I'm just trying to set up my thing here? Okay. I guess we can try and play from here. Okay. So what do we have? We have Decker in a Shadowhawk 2H with what do I give it? A large laser and okay, this is an SRM boat. And I have Glitch, PPC2 medium lasers, okay, so a piercer. Yeah. I have Centurion, that looks like I made it an LRM boat. Uh, and Slick, large laser, right, we have this little zomp, this weird Franken blackjack. Um, okay, let's go and scout with the most useless piece of junk we have, which is the blackjack. I kind of forget how the activations work for this. Oh, right. I remember. There's a turret generator here. Uh, do we have any guys with jump jets? No. Okay. This, I guess? Moving out. Uh, does he have jump jets? No. Did I just pull all the jump jets off my mechs? I think that's maybe what happened. Copy that. I've had a heck of a time trying to get actual mechs fit into a lance between models and tech levels. Hmm. But maybe that's because we're trying to stick classic Battletech with only... Oh, third succession more stuff. I think um classic Battletech is... I, I've played just regular Battletech for a long, long time. Um, it's worked out pretty good. Um, I've liked... People I've seen have liked maybe third... Uh, Maybe about 6 KBV with about 6 mechs, or 8 K, sorry, 8 KBV with about 6 mechs is what they're Out playing over at, um, um, over at the, what do you call it? The, the Discord channel, um, uh, the MRC, which plays online. Howdy, first time in stream, says Brock Payne, watching the game that got me into Battletech. Hey, welcome, welcome. I have actually never completed this campaign, although I've played a decent chunk of it. So we're kind of re-exploring um, what that is. I know it plays, every game plays a little bit differently. So I want to be... Um, Got it. Yeah, I, and then I heard that there are like changes as well that happened to this game. Like before uh, you used to be able to like just learn things to death. Uh, I played it way back when it, uh, when, when it, I guess, just kind of released so i haven't and i haven't really super touched it since then so we're just messing around we're looking at what our um what what past auto left me with looks like we've got a couple of contacts here so with these turrets and then a bunch of little tanky boys i was trying to build a davion light lance to fit into 3000 bv oh okay okay 
B3000 BV is a bit stingy for a casual fight. Yeah, the the games I mo the sizes I most see are 5k BV um, with 4 mechs or 8k BV for 6 mechs. And that's that's a pretty, you know, that's a solid like 3 hour game. I really like some of the Flashpoint missions they added. Great content to keep going once the campaign is beat. Mm -mm -mm. I just have the, uh, I have like, I don't have any, I just, this, this is just the base game, so. I don't know, maybe we can mess around with some of the DLC later or something. <clears throat> Knockdowns were incredibly strong back then. Now the heavy metal mechs and the, now it's the heavy metal mechs and the DLC that are meta. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I, yeah, I only, I haven't actually seen of any of the, any of the free mechs we did. Okay, there's a turret generator here that we can hit. Waiting Maybe on we'll you, bring Commander. our blackjack over. Can I hit it from here? No, I can't. What's up, boss? Uh, we'll just bring the blackjack up, I think. And just handle these turrets or whatever heck comes over here. It does have an AC2. And, uh, there was one of them. Oh, I guess just brace. Okay. Brace. Hide taskbar. Um, hide taskbar. Perfect. Marauder is OP. Mm -mm -mm. Marauder is absolutely beautiful. Wasp and a Stinger can work well in tandem. The DLC are geared towards career mode rather than campaign. If you take your assaults from the flashpoints, you tend to wreck everything in your path. Ah, I did hear, hear some weird things about um about the late game, the way the late game progresses. Uh, here, let's just move up. We can take a hit. Um, where like you're running like lances with like four king crabs or something. <laughs> that was a little funky uh, to me. The prison gates on the either side are going to be your best point of entry into the complex. Okay. Blow them down and make your way inside, or jump the wall if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Well, we don't have any jump jets. So we're entrenched here. I guess we didn't shoot anything? Okay, we can switch targets. 85% uh, chance. How's our heat? There's like a heat gauge, right? We're barely heating up with an alpha strike. Or we could take a scorpion out. Let's take a scorpion out. That can move some damage, I guess. And then the thing I have to remember here is um, is that things do different amounts of damage in this game, right? So they'll kind of rebalance it so that the ACs aren't completely useless. I wonder if Glitch can come up here. And then what I did find weird is the TMMs, like the movement modifiers, are pretty generous. So you don't actually, you're actually still pretty accurate even if you kind of move and shoot. I'm using the all Davion variants. Oh, interesting, interesting. If you're kind of getting into it, I would recommend um, taking a look at Zodal Rats. Um, the Zodal Rats tables are quite helpful. Um, you can find them on sarna.net. Um, and they show like what's um, fluffy for uh, each specific faction for each specific date. And that's helped me a lot. Um, what else we get? Ready for orders. Okay, so we have our missile boat. I guess we can start launching some LRMs Confirm. as long as we have enough um, ammo. Late game with the DLC is a joke. Late game base usually ends up with you stacking king crabs with jump jets and LRMs and PPCs to fish for kills from across the map. Ah, uh, yeah. I did remember uh, certain things being a little... Okay, these do 40 damage each, so 40, 80... That's pretty good. Um... I do remember, yeah, things being kind of wonky where you had to, like, what worked for me was using a bunch of LRMs um, because I didn't get hit um, and kind of avoiding avoiding brawls um, or, like, using someone with a sniper to just pop open um, someone's torso and then um, kind of blasting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus! Is that a turret? What happened? What hit me? Um. Yeah, I found a good app, Mech Factory, for my phone. It would seem solid. And Flex Sheets look like, looks like a godsend. Yeah, I think I um, have heard good things about Flex Sheets. Yes, Commander. I personally have not uh, used them yet. Okay, we're going to put our 
Shadowhawk in a really bad spot. But he's the only one that can reach it, so. He can tank it. He's fine. Um, okay, okay. So we'll, we'll alpha strike here. Wow, this thing runs heat neutral. I guess it's because it's in a, we're in a winter biome. Hopefully that takes out some turrets, right? Okay, perfect. So some of the turrets should turn offline. Fresh real estate available. I can't see which ones actually got turned off online. Offline. Okay, miss. Uh, these are still up. Oh yeah, there's another group of turrets here. So maybe we just blitz the turrets. Hmm. 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 I'm still not sure on how the uh, how the activations work. Like you can reserve certain mechs to kind of go last like why wouldn't i don't know i guess we'll figure it out as we go along relearn this game the light sniper tournament it is i the doe hello maya the doe welcome welcome so how goes the campaign we're just real we're just figuring out what past auto was doing and messing around with before we uh -huh. stopped playing the game i think this is pretty this is pretty early on in the campaign we just got the argo um if i remember correctly like Kamea Rano kind of where we're go. rescuing people from a prison. Let's hit hard. Um and then Kamea Rano kinda of like bye. pops out, spoilers. Um but yeah. I think you're came in at a good time because we're just like Testing you know, by. we're just we just started just started streaming again. Moving just started up. streaming this thing again. Uh we'll just blow this thing up. Gundam pilots reacted appropriately to the full love of crafting horror that was Hello Kitty. You finally beating the campaign? I hope so. I hope so. I want to see the ending. The last thing I saw was um, was this really weird, um, not weird, but this like very uh, cliche scene, I guess. Um, this this game came out I think around the time uh, Game of Thrones was really popular. So uh, okay, it's fine. Um. I see 25 damage, and I think I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking in terms of. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking in terms of uh, BattleTech regular, um, classic BattleTech. Good to go. Uh, d amounts of damage, and I keep saying, "Dang, that's a lot." All right, so we're getting a little what can thin I do for here. You? What can I do? Do I need, really need to go to the left here? Maybe I just bust, like, rush down and bum rush down this way. Moving out. 25 pips, can you imagine? Yeah, for real, for real. And, like, I don't even have to use cover because I have a uh, mech. Uh, let's just take that out. 90%. Take that's great. This. Please? Hairbreak Scheme's Battletech honestly woke me up to how potentially interesting Battletech lore could be. Despite Mech Warrior games flattening the setting um, until they look like Unity default assets, mm. I think um, I always knew about BattleTech, and I think a lot, a lot, like a lot of people, I got woken up to um, what BattleTech was and could be through uh, through this game. Let us alpha strike this. I see past auto like full. All right, that kills him. Right? I see orange on a vehicle. That means it dies. Um. <clears throat> Kit Sorens. The Wolverine has legs to charge, the guns to break you open, and then the armor to stop you from doing the same. Oh, and it punches 25 tons up. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. I heard that they have um quirks in this game now. That was kind of cool. Move into position. As an old school Battletech guy who read all the original novels as they came out, let me assure you, there is a lot to love. Yeah. You know, I tried, um, okay, okay, maybe here we split fire, because I can see this guy has only got, like, 20 HP left. So we'll hit this as the primary and this as secondary, and then, no, 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 we'll just do this. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do that on Wait, where's my secondary target? Hello? Multi-target. A. B. Okay, okay. Okay, it actually did it. B, B, B. Fire! Multiple enemies. Locked on. Um. Yeah. 
I tried reading some of the Battletech books, but I just bounced off of them. I don't know if it's because I'm just spoiled on, like, George R. R. Martin stuff, and the, um, and all, like, the, I don't know, the modern day writing and stuff, but the, I tried reading, like, the, the Grey Death Legion series, and it just wasn't, it just wasn't doing it for me. I think I just needed, I don't know, I'm spoiling, like, Stephen King and George R. R. Martin, and not really, like, I remember loving those, like, pulp um, those pulpy novels, I don't know if that's what you call them, where, like, the Warhammer novels and stuff like that, but I don't know, they just don't, they just don't hit. R. Jerez, hey nerdy, just found your channel and really enjoy your content. Been over 25 years since I played tabletop, and the last computer game I played was Mech Commander. Oh, man. But Battletech holds a special place in my heart. Well, welcome, R. Jerez, welcome in, welcome in. I'm glad you, um... I'm glad, I'm glad you could uh, come and join us and we reignited or reinterested you in VT. There's a lot that's been um, a lot that's been going on lately in the Battletech universe. A lot of things getting revamped, so I think now's a good time to kind of like jump in. I was people did want me to play the original Mech Commander, and after stream um, the other day, I was looking at how to do that. It turns out that um, abandonware is not technically legal. Um, which is quite sad. So there are a bunch of um, older games that are abandonware, but it's not like a legal term. So I can't actually uh, like just rip the game, I guess. So I'll have to buy it online. And I was looking online and they're like 60 bucks, 45, 60 dollars, um, which is a little expensive. But I do want to play the OG Mech Commander. I think I think um, the uh, the live action stuff is really cool. But welcome in. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm happy you can come and come and play. There are a bunch of other. <clears throat> Veterans like yourself. You veterans to the, to the genre um, that uh, that hang out here as well. Um, they uh, they watch it with their kids sometimes, which I think is like the most wholesome thing. <laughs> the most wholesome thing are like, oh yes, I watch you with my daughter, or oh yes, I watch you with my son. A few Battletech books are written decently, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I just don't know any of, like, the good ones, I guess. And the one, from what I heard, like, the Grey Death Legion one was good, so I bought, like, the trilogy um, when it was on sale, and I read it, and I only made it to, like, chapter, like, two or something like that, or, like, page four. I was like, oh, this is not, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't for me. <laughs> it got a sensor lock on me. Oh, there's sensor locking. Oh, okay, we got damage reduction in the woods. That's kind of cool. Spoiled by Tom Clancy and Michael Crichton as a kid. Yeah, I think, I think, I don't want to, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think I'm just used to a certain um, writing, le like, certain level of writing. I don't think that's unfair to say. But certain level of, of writing, and some of the older novels, uh, they don't hire, like, the, you know, top tier New York bestseller authors. And maybe that's why I don't um vibe with it much maybe it's just because i'm spoiled not that i could write any better but you know <laughs> the death kangaroos novella from the kickstarter was a nice story the death kangaroos the death kangaroos i've never heard of that i've never i've never heard of that mercenary um, Brock Payne, I'm watching with my son right now, although he's playing a bubble pop. Bubble pop right now? Bubble pop? Like the, the K-pop? The K-pop song? <laughs> I'm sure it's a mobile game. If you want to go through the GDL trilogy, the audiobooks, um, are the way to go. Ah, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, I maybe if you. I ever revisit it again, I might go for the audiobooks and, like, do them while I, um, while I, uh, while I, you know, work on my videos and stuff. That might be cool. The Death Kangaroos. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad Space Marine chapter. <laughs> uh. Sackpole is a masterclass of world building. Um, but I agree some of his early stuff is a bit young adult. Yeah, I think everyone um, grows as a creator as um you know as as guys go along oh i just remembered how the activations work they it's by weight class right 
like the heavy guys go first and the lighter guys go second. And then this uh, Medusa guy must have Master Tactician or something like that. Barely hit, Commander. Basil Tech, I'm interested in the historic book that is about to come out. I want to see if it is just going to be a summary of eras or if it's going to have a lot of info about the advance of technology. Oh. There's a new book coming out? Receiving That's kind of cool. Um, I guess I'll move like... Oop. I guess we'll kind of move like this and be able to shoot. I'm not too worried about my Centurion taking damage since it is an LRM boat. Um, like, it taking damage is better than the backline guys taking damage, in my opinion. Um, how are we doing on missiles? We got 400. Um, hey, nice. <clears throat> that sounds like an exp amazing Space Marine chapter. Welcome in, Melody. Glad you could join us. The Death Kangaroos versus the Cha Cha Adults. <laughs> Didn't even know what Battletech was until two months ago. Oh, welcome, Paradigm Shifter. And you're my favorite YouTube channel for the content right now. I'm in too deep and loving every second. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I could introduce you to the setting. I only just started really mm, making content seriously about a year ago. I think my birthday, my channel birthday, was like a month or two ago. Um, and uh, making videos and, and all that. Um, and I'm really, and, and got deep, I guess, into Battletech in the last year through making the channel. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad, um, I'm glad we're able to um, teach and immerse you, immerse you in, in the lore of Battletech. Although I must say there is a lot of lore. Lights go on four, mediums on three, heavies on two, and assaults on one. Ah, up here. Wait, it's, so it's reverse? Oh, because lights can hold their turn to the end. I see, I see. Waiting for orders. Okay. Uh, there's a target here. I guess we can just take this guy out. Hopefully it doesn't expose us to any kind of counter fire, but we're fine. Canalist Game Lamb's biggest project yet. Ah, okay, okay. Target acquired. Though you're talking about the new, um, the new movie. Or like the new the new book. Oh, he only shot with his large laser. Sad. Slime saying immerse you sounds like a threat. I'll immerse you, Commander. Immerse you in the law. Drown you, you until all you can think of is battle tech. Don't None of that war hammer stuff. None of that wizards, space wizards shooting lightning. Time to die. Only battle tech and its politics and backstabbing. Uh, what is this? Okay, well, let's take this. Uh, let's take this guy out. Happy channel birthday! Like, exciting to see a new VTuber break into this niche too. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't have to be a a VTuber boy. Okay. Uh, um, but yeah, I do enjoy VTubing. Um, I enjoy making content. Um, just started streaming in the last year. I haven't done very many streams, but I like streaming. I like making videos. Um, it's a lot more, I don't know, I find it a lot more liberating where you're kind of in control of your own destiny. Um, more so than any other profession that I was in. Um, whereas your job, you're kind of beholden to a boss, right? But, um... With content creation, you're your own boss, and you get um, kind of all the profits. Um, I guess we can breach with this kind of useless blackjack. I'm not really a fan of the blackjack. Please don't suffocate us with your semi-permeable main membrane. <laughs> Matt Melton, Matt Melton, with the with the with the forbidden lore. You have seen my uh, VTuber introduction video. I take it. Lady Arano is aware uh. of the situation. Reinforcements are yeah. on the way. I um have a secret lore if you watch if you watch the the cheesy little um uh the cheesy little uh VTuber self introduction and you line up the dates with uh with my birthday and so <laughs> Got it. The deep nerdy lore, the hidden lore of nerdy overanalyzed. <laughs> I do want to do some more different um, stuff. I want to start branching out into like Dungeons and Dragons and D&D. 
Um, maybe, maybe, probably this sometime this year. Aye, aye. Uh, I guess it's better to reserve, huh? Um, and I also want to sing some songs. I want to make a music video. <laughs> I want to make a couple music videos. So I have this weird thing where I can sing fairly decently, or I like to think I can sing fairly decently. But I don't know how to how to monetize that, you know? Other than singing um, randomly. I think I had a couple karaoke streams, but they didn't do super well. People mostly want to see Battletech, since I am a Battletech chap. What kind of D&D content am I thinking about? Um, I don't know what kind of D&D. I know uh, Elder Scrolls or like, no, Baldur's Gate came out recently. I probably wouldn't do any kind of gaming um, D&D stuff. I did a lot of uh, Dungeon Dragons like roleplay and I even like DM'd at my store for like the organized play events. Um, I probably would do um, painting. I do enjoy painting streams, <clears throat> like art stuff. I have a um, limited edition Beholder. I have a dragon just kind of that's been sitting in my desk for years, just in my pile of shame. Oh, it's a Jenner. Cool. Oh, talking about DD as I play Battle uh, BG3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a bunch of people playing with, um, that game. It kind of popped into their streams and stuff. I do think it's kind of. Um, I think do think it's pretty cool that. Um, oh, right. We have, okay, we have to actually think about this. Um, I do think it's actually pretty cool. Um, with the way, like, things roll, I guess. Um, there's no cover, so we just, like, stand and bang here? Is that, is that what's happening? Uh, maybe... I remember this being, like, a rifleman. Kind of a lighter guy. Ah, this guy is made of damage, though. Maybe we'll get into brawl range. We'll get into our 6x range. D and D mini reviews and painting that could be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do like um hobbying. I I mean I have a whole bunch of um, hobby stuff, so maybe painting them might be a fun uh might be a fun thing to do. Oh, we took off his lasers. Okay. My long term plans are to build a clan wolf in exile and a calm guard. Oh, very good. If you can pop a building, they tend to make cover from the rubble. Oh, okay, okay. Well. Let's see if that made cover. It should show green if it made cover, right? Good to go. Jesus, that thing moved fast. How does it have so many defense pips? Uh, okay, we'll just On use my way. glitch. Your Wolf Dragoons video was great. More painting content would be awesome. Ah, okay. I did prep another... Um, if you check my Twitter... Oh, nice, that hit. I thought that was going to miss for a second. Um, if you check my Twitter, there is a and Reddit. I did post um, some models that I did recently for a new video. I do have the footage for a basic, like how to do some pretty basic stuff. Oh god, it's a straight up ball. I just take a whole bunch of damage. There's no cover here. How do we? How do we do this? Orders. Uh, okay. What's my last guy? Okay, Centurion. Uh, let's go in here. We'll just fo try and focus fire down the Jenner. Uh, fire there. I'm glad you liked the Wolf Dragoon video. It, um, um, it wasn't super popular, I guess, because it was different from my... I guess it's just a bit different. Um, and so, I guess YouTube, the audience that I already have isn't... Not all of them are into uh, painting videos in Battletech. Like, I get a fair number of um, of people that like the video games or like the lore but have never played. So maybe that was why. This guy has so many, this guy has so many defense picks, but this trebuchet is fine. On it. Beat him. Oh, Lord. Wow. They do... SRMs do 10 damage? I still gotta cement a Merc company idea besides my combination Merc Pizzeria company. <laughs> they look like a delivery company. SRM Plus can do more damage or stability. Oh, is it a plus weapon? Did I um did I get a plus plus weapon? Nice try! One thing I would also be keen on is modern Battletech history stuff. Uh you know what? I know a lot of people are into Ilkhan. 
I think I would. I think I'm moving up my timeline a little bit to uh, 39 tech for a 35, like pre clan invasion, like 3050 ish, 3049. Um, but he's fine, right? He's not fine. It's not fine. Um, okay. Decker, I need you. Uh, oh no, wait, wait. We need to punch a hole first. Uh, where's glitch? What can I do for you? Glitch, my girl. Get in there. Get in there, you glitchy. Armor sharing time. All right, so we'll fire everything here. Look, I oversynced my dudes. Do you? Oh, here's a question. Do you guys? Um. Oh, there's a sensors impaired on the PPT. Nice. Um. Here's a question. When you play this game, do you have hot mech builds and and uh, like a lineup of hot mechs? Um, that are oversynced for hot maps and a lineup for cold mechs um, for, you know, for, for orders. Um, or a lineup of mechs that are particularly good at cold. For orders. You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying. All right, launch it. Launch it. Target. Ilkhan is fine just as long as you're not talking about the story. Some of the stuff about the wolves are really something. Mm, mm, mm. I think just to keep it simple, um, I think I would. That is the main reason I was talking. Uh, started to talk about. Uh, I started to talk. I started to talk about 3025 stuff since everyone can kind of wrap their head around it. The further you go on in time, I think, the harder it generally gets. Um. Does Blackjack really need to run? I built him kind of like a brawler. I guess I don't really want him to die. Sad thing is my Shadowhawk can't reach, so we'll have to beat up on this guy. Got it. It's not too much of a problem. I just play more conservatively like hot biomes. Okay, okay. If you're going to play in a range of environments, then you should have mechs in the bay to take advantage of those environments. Okay, so you do run eventually specific um, specific <laughs> That's why I'd like someone to explain damage. the more modern setting. Mm -mm -mm. I think, for my part, just to keep it uh, simple, I think I would probably just stick with um, probably just stick with uh, 30, 39. Um, not really going any further than uh, clan invasion. Like I haven't done any clan stuff yet, um, and that and that's kind of by design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does get a little. It does get a little funky. Oh, we have the Jaeger. Nice. Enemy Critical damage detected. Oh, also reminder: you've got aim shot ability stacked up. Get those ammo explosions, boy! Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I have um, I have some bonus stuff. All right, please stop hitting my blackjack, sir. Warning. Sir. Please. Oh, he split fire. He's nice. He's a nice man. So. Uh, I think now we're in a good position to take the mechs off the map. These are all, they threw all, like, lightly armored boys at us. We can make our Centurion tank. What shot me from the side with a large laser? What the heck? What the heck is that? I'm only now starting to understand it. I've been a Battletech fan for 20 years. Oh, here's Kamehameha Rana. Right, right, right. Unless they 110% used Free World's League just to build material for a decade. Uh, what hit me with the large laser from over here? I can't see it. Hello? Is it a tank or something? Mystery. Ready will solve eventually. Uh, we can melee this guy. We can also... How's this guy looking? This guy looks pretty beat up. This guy looks pretty half. Okay, we'll center torso shot this guy. But I want to, uh, I want to finish this man off. Come Ooh, here, yeah. Trebuchet. It's coming out right now. Ignore how the game kind of butches your character a bit. Okay. And fire everything. Uh, we aim CT. How many, how much boost do we have? I guess we'll find out. All right, boosts hit the 9%. Excuse me? Okay, just, 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 just fire. Uh, actually. 
Okay, just fire your guns. Whatever. I, I'm assuming shooting boosts your, um, hits your, like, increases your boost bar. Okay, we see team. One of my memories from the last time I was playing was the way you get SRM, SRM ammo, which did auto internal damage. Uh, interesting. Oh, Jaeger boy. Okay, we'll fire the precision strike from her into this. Okay, and it missed. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll attack with this into that. And that. Center torso hit, please. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Well, Kamara Rano's here, and uh, no one's really, no one's really alive here. There was a large laser that came from the left side, but I, I, I can't see it for the life of me. So we'll just, we'll just bait it out. Hopefully, our black jet doesn't die. Oh, I, I, I did figure something out lately. Um, I figured out um, a trick with the javelin. I was always wondering why it had, two, I believe it has two tons of ammo, one in each side torso, and I always thought that was weird. What you could take with the javelin is you could take um, the, the double SRM javelin um, is, is heat, uh, is the inferno ammo um, with your second ton. And then I was always wondering why the thunderbolts um, had that like SRM2 which was kind of useless to me um, but you could also pack that with Inferno maybe I haven't um, I haven't uh, run the numbers yet but it seems like a possibility um, and with that SRM stuff um, after talking to a couple of guys um, <clears throat> from the MRC you could use that to hold yes, for heat damage and reduce the overall incoming damage uh, that you're that your mechs take. So I thought that was kind of interesting. <clears throat> uh, where am I? Now I'm all turned around. Oh, over here. Okay, here's the mech he's hiding behind here. Some will just walk up with our strong guys. Sending things on fire with an SRM-2 does sound like fun. Yeah, it does. Um, not on only here, setting Commander. things on fire, but like um, threatening the heat damage so that they turn off their, like they're like, oh, I could take an extra, you know, um, four heat damage from that SRM. I'd better, you know, hold a medium laser or something or I might shut down, you know? So you just kind of hold it as a threat. Oh, I accidentally moved my block jack up. Oopsies. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um... Imagine putting infernos in a grasshopper's head. Sounds like a good time. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. So far, I kind of like the Centurion A. I don't know if we can stack another SR uh, LRM. Maybe we'll put an LRM 15 on him. Maybe turn one of his um, LRM 10s into LRM 15. That'd be fun. Grasshopper is my favorite. Why do I have this mech? Yo, the Grasshopper is pretty sick, though. I was running the numbers. Really Standing quite by. strong. Really quite a strong and fun mech. Uh, do we get into melee with this guy? This guy already moved, right? He already moved. So what if we just go like this Heading into out. melee? But the Grasshopper is quite strong. You just kind of eject the... I, I think you just eject the LRM ammo and just go full energy. What have we here? Oh, another Centurion. Don't mind if I do. On it. One of the things I did notice for this game, too, is the um, when I was transitioning over to the tabletop game, was that um, Waiting for orders. <clears throat> the hit locations are a lot more generous in this game. You don't have to um, move as far to get the side, side attack or the rear... Um, well, the side attack in particular. Um, whereas in the... In the other games, you do. Um, in the in the tabletop game, you have to kind of get all the way around the mech. You have to break the parallel um, line in order to start getting um, 
in, in order to start getting side damage. Jason Farley has a high school is a high school teacher job. I'm finally getting that Northwind Highlander's command land. Super excited to get my hands on a grasshopper. I have a grasshopper. I haven't Thank run it, um, but I do think it's pretty cool. Let's turn him around like this. I don't think he's getting around, and then we'll give him just a side. Um, so we'll be able to bomb the uh, enemy Centurion while also being able to not take uh, the whatever that enemy is over there. Oh, it looks like we broke through. Nice. I'd also use the higher Highlander burial model. Nice. My friend did run the uh, AC20 version of the Highlander in one of the um, in one of the games that we played uh, in one of the clan invasion games we played, and uh, head capped. I think he head capped like a dire wolf or something. He head capped one of my one of one of my major um, important mechs. So that was kind of neat. But yeah, I think the Highlander. Personally, just hits a little light, like the original Highlander hits a little light. I think the AC20 version is is quite nice. Um, the older Star League version, Ready for order. Uh, with the Goss rifle, seems a little better. How do we melee in this game? Is it A? That's okay. We'll just get behind him. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Decker has the scanner thing. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I mean, we'll just, we'll just do this. It's gonna be fine. No, he's still alive? What the heck? Okay. Alright, come here, Rano! Just on time! Yeah! Oh, he fell down. The power move of having a Highlander crushing an Urban Neck beneath it is just felt too good. I'm gonna have to become a DFA gambling just to honor it. <laughs> Called Shot will also push the enemy back in initiative? Really? That's kinda cool. Good to go. All kinds of little things that don't I don't need to tell know. Me twice. Okay, well he fell, right? So we can check his initiative up here. So he's going next. I guess it doesn't matter. We just uh, called shot a CT and see what he does. Okay, or he doesn't die. Um, and then the other enemy is this way, so we will. Receiving you. I think we'll actually we'll just stay put. We'll just attack like this. Uh, CT. Fine. Firing on target. And I think we just scoop our uh, little meter climb back away and just play it safe. I don't think there's any way we lose if we just scoop uh, no. blackjack. Oh, the prison guard is the prison is ours. Thanks for your assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Sumer bring us down for the victory celebration. Nice shot with the PPC. Also, hi, Lol. Hey, Arvo. Welcome to chat. It's been a, it's been a while. How have you been? Mission successful. Mission successful. Hooray! Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't block the salvage. Okay, we didn't take any damage, only armor damage, which is perfect. Okay, okay, we have parts here. So what do we get? Um, I guess we want the Centurion parts. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Jaeger mech. I don't, I think in this game, bigger is better, right? So I think the Jenner we don't really want. I guess we're two out, so we can take a Jenner piece. I want the Trebuchet? Trebuchet is fine. Uh, do we have any plus stuff? Plus items? No plus items. Okay. Um, what about large laser? Large laser is always nice. LRM 15 is always nice. We kind of need one of those, or the Jagermech piece. Oh, you can salvage heavier pieces. Okay, so you can just sell this. Okay. Well, okay, we'll take that then. We'll just take all the salvage. Did we get the... No, we didn't luck into LRM-15. That's fine, that's fine. Why are the frames worse after the battle? I don't know. 
I do see we have about 4% dropped frames, so I will need to go back into the settings and um, clean things up. <clears throat> I don't think the internet connection is it was um, particularly... Uh, I'm sorry, Kamea. Particularly... He uh, here. The internet's not particularly safe. All this time. Alright, everyone's played this, right? No spoilers. Spoilers, no spoilers. Everyone's playing this. I, I thought it was weird that this this section here, where they kind of bring Raju back um, from the dead just to, like, kill him again, is was just strange. Just a strange choice. Like, why would they, why would they do this? They already killed him in the beginning. I don't know. It's ma it's supposed to make me feel. It's like supposed to make you feel angry at the, um, angry at the I don't know whatever the the goat guys the white the green goat guys, um. But I already assumed he was dead, so it didn't really bother me. It just sound felt like a weird choice. Hello, has Sumiri done one of her special drops yet? No, no, she has not. Um, this is just the vanilla version. I don't know if they even have that here. Also, I was introducing a couple people to Battletech Tabletop. It was pretty enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you're uh, spreading spreading the word of Battletech, Arba. AKA dropping you into the middle of a lens. No. Mech Dad, no. Pour one out for Raju. Oh no. A father figure dies in Battletech. Who could have see seen this coming? My heart is shattered. What is the name of... What is the name of this game? Oh. This game is called Battletech. Um, it goes on sale on Steam for like ten bucks sometimes. It's pretty good. It got a lot of people into the uh, into the franchise. Kind of works as a, if you were here sooner, you could have saved something you thought was lost. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I yeah, I just assumed he was dead anyway. O seven Raju. Welcome, Agent C D E. Dialogue. Frontier. Oh, yes, we were a frontier pirate. Dialogue. Frontier pirate. The Argo. It is ready. You have yourself a navy. Oh, here's her epic speech. I like this one. I thought this one was pretty decent. And I have failed you. But double dead. That's worse years, than single dead. Director day. Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And I already I expected him to be dead in the first place. It would palace, be interesting if he got resurrected away, by our antagonist to fight us. Oh, support, yeah, that might be neat. That might be planning. neat. Little nature, fight your old mech dad. Neighbor kind of against thing. neighbor, <laughs> made your loved ones disappear. Conscripted your children. We have failed, the I Emperor. wasn't here. I didn't know. The campaign the goes through the basic beats of the Amara Civil War and is there to give people a taste of the story that no uh, Director is usually told in the novel. That, that, the 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 that the Aurigan Reach I, I mean, I think it, it sells like a very well, ba say basic that built on story, fear is I guess. The director uh, a is good, a paper an tiger, but a goodie. And I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. One of the things I did, I think I, I stopped well uh, talking about the thing in the middle of, um, Join us, in the, in the middle of, in the middle the of the sentence, but I did think it was a little Armadier. weird, um, Not where you killed the, the redhead, uh, the Tarian guy's son. Against you. Um, the Oregon like, you killed my son, my only son, my family. That is and what I, I fight for. I saw that and I was like, wow, that's and very, uh, to fight for your freedoms it's very Tywin Lannister vibes the first time I played through that. Oh, those are scars on her face. I thought those were like, I don't know, artistic little things. The Tarians are going to Tarian. Oh, we got a little, uh... Oh, it's Dr. Murad. Hello. Thanks. New crewmates? New crewmates, you say? 
I want to see my ship. How about you, Yang? The Argo is not in good shape, Commander, but with time and money and some of Chief Vertanen's Ver Ver technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe make this place nice again. I'll be engineer engineering if you want to know more. Yeah, yeah, the, the angry military man blinded by rage caught between two factions larger than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's just very... He's very... He was very Tywin... I, I got very Tywin lannister -y vibes. It would, like, this game kind of came out when, when I was watching that Game of Thrones and stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. I'll be right back, Commander. I'll be right back. I do have to empty the old coolant tank. And then we can look at our mechs. Maybe, like, we can mess around with some mechy boys. Uh, and like, you know, mod our mechs or go shopping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be right back! Welcome back. Welcome back. If Kamea chose a certain mech later on, she certainly would be rocking a Gauss rifle. For people who ride in hugely armored battle mechs, they sure get a lot of cosmetic wounds. Hey, it's the uh, it's all the cockpit hits, okay? It's it's when your when your mech takes that SRM cockpit hit. Build the Jenna. We can take a look at what we have. I think we have a bunch of... Can you buy scrap from here? I don't know. I, I don't think we got a new mech. We can take a look. I think we got two pieces out of the three we need. Hang on. Let's um. Let's make this video game bigger. Just a tad bigger. Like, Oh, I guess it doesn't fit on the screen exactly. Okay, I guess. That's weird. I guess it can stay there. All right. So, let's go to the mech bay, I guess. Look at the mechs we have. Uh, Blackjack, Vindicator, Shadowhawk, Spider, ew. Uh, Locust, gross. Okay, we want to get rid of these Spiders and Locusts. Not a fan. Uh, what about the store? Is there anything good here? There's part salvage. Interesting. For a half a million we have two and a half 
does it show whatever parts we have? Okay, we have one out of three parts here. Zero out of three, zero out of three, zero out of three, and a stalker. Wow. Uh, we get machine gun plus. There is a cockpit mod. Uh, injury resistance. Uh, that's fine. Calm system. Resolve gain. Okay. Heat bank. Heat bank seems kind of good. Max heat. Heat threshold that lets us uh do more damage overall more things overall we'll buy that uh is it possible to ask for a discord link i actually closed my discord it took a little bit too much admin uh to work over um i would recommend if you're looking for a um if you're looking for a battletech discord try the mrc if you want to play if you want to actually play like tabletop battletech that place has been pretty nice um, by the way, you can send mechs you don't want to storage so they can don't eat up maintenance costs in the mech base base. How much do these um, MG++ pluses do? Maybe we'll just buy some of those for fun. That one seems good. New weapon system I know it's available. expensive, but uh, it seems like fun. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to our mech bay. I think our mechs were a little... What did we say? Oh, we did have jump jets on this guy. They were a little cold. We could afford going a little hotter on them. Although I think this is okay. Maybe we could experiment with putting an LRM-15 on this Centurion. We have an LRM-15. No LRM-15. We gotta go buy one. <clears throat> Let's pick up an LRM-15 and slap it on our Centurion. Or not, because there are no... There's a Rangefinder Double Plus. What is this? All mechs come equipped with stock cockpit configurations, which can be upgraded for improved performance. Range finders increase the range at which targets can be visually acquired. That seems useful. We'll buy that. And oh, there's MG half. Well, we need that. We need that. We need that. Okay, that, that's that's enough shopping. All right, well, let's just use what we have here. But auto, there's no infantry. Is this vanilla VT? Yes, this is vanilla. Um, we're doing a vanilla run first, and then we'll probably mess around with mods later. Welcome all, welcome in, Mr. Semper Mattels. Semper. Rangefinders are good if you want to slap them on an LRM boat. Okay, let's slap them on the LRM boat then. Let's uh, slap them on the LRM boat. Do a refit here, and then we'll get that rangefinder. Are you sure it's not better on a, uh, like a scout mech? Wow, we have a whole bunch of range finder. Calm system, okay. We'll swap out the calm system for a range finder. Uh, we have a heat bank and a calm system. If we have a heat bank, that means we can put more, uh, okay, this can't carry a heat bank. Oh no, this can carry a heat bank. This means we're running real cold on this. What else can we put on? Maybe we'll put on a... Another medium laser? Why the heck did past auto just totally max the heat efficiency on this thing? Hello? Past auto, what were you thinking? Past auto? What were you thinking, past auto? We could have been putting more medium lasers on this mech. Right. All right, we'll try that. We'll refit the Shadow Hawk. If we put a, I actually kind of like the Shadow Hawk in this game because it's got the missiles. If we put a heat bank on here, that's a ton. Max heat. Kind of want to put more SRM sixes on this thing. Hmm. There's ballistic hard points. I don't think there's any cheap, uh, lightweight ballistic hard points. Looking at your mechs, kind of crazy to think that I got a Centurion and Kintaro before the prison mission. Really? Wow, you got a whole Kintaro before this, the mission? Dang. My loadout was triple large lasers. You put triple large lasers on your Vindicator? Jesus. 
I guess we can't afford this heat bank. How much ammo does this give? Wow, this is so heat efficient. I guess, you know what? I guess when we're in a cold zone, we can just keep it like this. This is fine. Uh, and then we want to go to engineering and upgrade something, right? Toast the pilot, it's fine. Alright, power system. Okay. Does that, like, unlock more things? Uh, med bays, recreation, repair and refit. I don't think we need any repair and refit. Let's get, like, TVs or something. For 225,000. That is no longer a Vindicator, though. <laughs> that is very true. However, in this game, any mech can become any mech. Receiving you. Can we upgrade any of our guns? Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay, we'll increase his gunnery by one. What can I do for you? We'll increase her gunnery up by one. We'll increase his gun. Oh, what do we want to be this guy? Uh, maybe we'll make him a... Just a combatant guy. Training, uh, we have thought? Ricochet as a backup person. And Slick will increase his gunnery. I like having this um, multi-track... Uh, this And then they had like the this bullseye ability, I think it was. Yeah, breaching. Breaching and uh, and the bulwark. Um, just for as just brawler guys. Just guys that, you know, just stand there and do damage. So I like having multiples of them. Uh, we were running three or four. Four? Yep, yep, yep. La a the AC-20 Hawk. Triple large laser sounds like a di <laughs> diet awesome. We have awesome at home. I either turn the first Vindicator into a Hoplite or a really big Panther with an SRM-6 and a medium laser. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the other way to go. We could go um, SRM-6 medium laser on the uh, on the, uh, on the Vindicator. I totally forgot about that build. That was totally on my mind um, when I was going through um, some alternate, um, alternate builds. Now, how do we pick up a contract here? Was it Sumire? How can I be of service, Commander? No, I got I gotta talk to you I'll later, Sumire. Oh, Sumire also has a scar. How funny. Uh are there where are the Where do you pick up contracts? Contracts, here we go. Making a Shadowhawk into your budget hunchback for G. I plan to field Disco back someday. The Disco back is quite good, quite good. Um, in terms of, uh, at least on tabletop, I, I, um, there was a guy that showed me the power of the Hunchback. I was like, wow, this thing is, this thing is crazy with all those medium lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like it, it becomes very um, less, a lot less swingy because you're firing all of them at the same time, or are you firing them all? Um, and yeah, it's 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 really, uh, really really quite nice. <clears throat> okay, which one do we pick up here? There is an. Tari, we fight the Taurians. Okay. We have detected a. Oh right, we actually are fighting the Taurians in this game. Sorry, I totally forgot. Uh, Polar, Polar, Highlands. Well, Polar fight should be really nice and easy, right? Let's just do one of these. We don't got to move at all. Do we want salvage rights or money? Maybe we'll do a little bit of both. Maybe a little bit of both. We'll do three salvage and accept. And we'll take our regular mechs out for a ride. Oh, we got to wait. Okay, hang on. We got to wait a little bit. Uh, how do we do this? Hiring Argo? Regular Argo? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We wait, like, five days. Go for salvage. Okay, okay. Job's done, All right, job's done. Now we can do the actual contract. And we'll do this one. And we'll negotiate. And we'll do a little more salvage. I kind of want to get more mechie boys. Uh, more mechie boys is always good. Maybe we'll swap out. We'll start leveling up Ricochet. I want to build her into a, uh... LRM person. Oregan missions makes very good money in salvage. Okay, okay. I think the 
the strategy now is just kind of sit here and um, build up our build up our forces and see what kind of mechs drop. The Tarians, the Earthsippers in the background, and the Davians and Compellans are making moves, but that's for the Flashpoint DLC. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you get the um, Goss Highlander, right, in vanilla once you raid, like, the Star League cache. Command interface initiated. My suggestion for the Shadow Man is maybe to turn into a Griffin 1S with a large laser and LRM-10. It could work. I have my Shadowhawk set up as a brawler with the SRMs um, right now. I do like, um, wait, what can I do why can't for I you? move? Um... What do we have to do? Just kill vehicles? Okay. Wow, look at this. They added more maps. It's like we have to walk up this whole valley. That's kind of cool. Got it. Um, what was I saying? Coordinates received. <clears throat> oh, how did I build my thing? Um, I built my... Yeah, Shadowhawk is a brawler. I, w I did see a very cool picture today on Twitter. Um, someone sent me of Duncan Fisher's Shadowhawk. Apparently he liked... Um, the variant that they drew him with was a, a Shadowhawk with two SRM-6s, a large laser, and a medium laser. Which seemed kind of cool. It was like a little brawler. Ready for um, orders. A brawler... Move order uh, with me. Best friends forever with pirates. Wait, when the pirates land, it gives you the black market offer? There's an event called the black market? Good to go. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Waiting for orders. On my way. Better than a stock Shadowhawk? Most things are better than a stock Shadowhawk. <laughs> I, there are a couple people who really, really love, uh, really, really Waiting love the order. Shadowhawk. I, I enjoy making jokes at their expense and teasing them about the Shadowhawk. I don't... I don't know. Pe people make a lot of funny arguments sometimes. One of my favorites is the... Is the Shadowhawk is good argument. Okay. You got an SLDF Phoenix Hawk off of the pirates? What is this pirate event? The price to get into black market happen depends heavily on your pirate reputation. It's crazy pricey if you piss them off. Oh, interesting. Commander, I uh. <laughs> on the move. I usually fight the pirates uh, in most of these games. They'll invite you at a discount. I love the Shadowhawk in this game, but I'm not under any illusions about it on tabletop. Yeah, yeah. The Shadowhawk is kind of cool in this game. You can turn it into a fun. Cavalry Brawler, which I did. But yeah, I don't... Uh, I do not commander. recommend in tabletop uh -huh. unless you like a shock troop. It is it is cheap. I will say it is cheap in BV, so you can use it as kind of like a, you know, uh, charger if you want to, I guess. If you just eject the ammunition. Yes, which I've been... I've, I need to put more games Copy on like that. a shock troop Shadowhawk where you just eject all the ammo and maybe take... Maybe, maybe you retain one for the Inferno ammo, but that's about it. <clears throat> but if the pirates have all the good tech, why are they losing? The best... The best faction to piss off is the local government. <laughs> Since they don't have any rep. Comstar, probably. The pirates find a clan... Da -da 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 ship. Does it end with W and end with E? Start with W and end with E. Oh, okay. Vehicles. Very cool. On my way. Yeah, you make the best Shadowhawk and Charger in this game. The tabletop, however. Hey, hey. I do like my... I think it's okay to like bad mechs. And one of my guilty pleasures is wanting to make the Charger work. Did You didn't die? Oh, boy. Uh... We need, we need another boy up here. We need another boy up here, sir. Where's Ricochet? I need you to lerm that SRM boat before it blasts all of our armor off. Uh, 
fire everything, Ricochet. I can't name the plan. The charger does work. I do like the char I, I like the idea of the charger, just the melee mech and pushing, um, pushing enemies off and stuff like that. Uh, just making that making it so they have to have to move, forcing movement, um, attacking um, little fire bases that they set up um, for a very cheap price. I think that does seem fun, and and it's just fun. It's good to go. Um, being very random with like, does it kick? Does it not? Just massively chunking out um, the damage, and and it being a meme mech too. Like I, I like the fact that it's a bit of a meme. Yeah. My back. What's going on? Welcome back, paper cut. We finished the story mission, and now we are farming some Pokemon. We're farming some mech Pokemon. Yeah, I wanna. I want when the new charger comes out for the. Uh, Receiving when you. the new charger comes out for the, uh, the models. I definitely want a new charger. I guess we'll play safe. We'll kind of play in the woods here. Heading out. But um, I want a charger. I want a fire starter. Uh, maybe a Merlin might be cool. I was painting up some mechs the other day. And I realized I have enough for, like, three armies. I have enough for my mercenaries. And then I was looking and I was like, wow, I have a Flashman here. Wow, I have uh, another Atlas here. Wow, I have two Commandos. I may as well make a Lyran, uh, Lyran army. So I, I I did, like, a Lyran army. Um, and it looks really cool. Like, I did a, um, I did a metallic, uh, uh, I don't know, paint job. And I got this um, paint Good called Fairy Dust from Army Painter, which Rocket supposedly out. turned anything metallic. And I use it on white, uh, so it was like white undercoat with um, fairy dust up top, and it looked really nice. It's like the whole mech kind of shines and and shimmers. I I was like, oh, maybe I'll paint up a whole Lyran like this, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we have when we have our next painting um, mech painting stream, I do want to show it off, and I want to do it on an Atlas or a Griffin. <clears throat> what if they gave the Hammerhead a ch a hatchet? The Hammerhead or the Hammer Hand? Hammerhead. The Hammerhead? There's a mech called the Hammerhead. The charger, um, the charge hits, if it hits, it's devastating. Yeah, yeah. It does seem a little bit random. I do, I do like the kick better on the charger, though. Um, just for, like, the massive damage and a single blow to the leg. And then the pilot check in it and that it's easier to hit. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we can... We get an obscured shot here. I think it's fine. Confirmed. We'll just scout with Decker. Surely he won't die. I haven't played Alpha Strike yet, but it seems neat. Alpha Strike does seem neat. I bought... Um, I have the Alpha Strike... Uh, I have the Alpha Strike... Target lock on enemy six. Uh, what do you call it? The, the actual, like, um, box. But I use it just for my classic stuff. Um, but yeah, I actually have the footage, oddly enough, but I haven't ever, um, haven't ever done anything with it. It's just sitting on my drive. But yeah, I think a couple of people have also what played, um, Alpha Strike and tried it. It does seem neat for, like, the, um, for the fact that, you know, you can have, like, bigger battles and, like, company, um, company size formations, which always seems, uh, which is always cool, but, um. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't quite done it. Oddly Order. enough, I hear that kids really prefer uh, the uh, the classic version because it's a lot more like um, detailed. Like uh, some, I was reading on Reddit somewhere, someone was like, "My kid, oddly enough, likes the um, oddly enough likes the more complicated aye, version." Aye. And yeah, I guess, I guess when he explained it, when he was explaining it, it, it made sense where kids really like. They get really into things. They get like, they love um, lots of detail, and so that really it like I guess hit his hit his like little obsession thing um, perfectly. Whereas Alpha Strike um, was kind of like whatever's. But I hear um, oh also mechs perform differently in Alpha Strike as well. Um, like the Shadowhawk apparently is fixed. Uh, Canadian Fabe, welcome to chat. Thank you for uh, thank you for your first time chat. I really like the Alpha Strike. I'm going to be playing tomorrow. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think I like it for a number of reasons. Um, um, cost being another uh, being another factor. Although this game isn't really super, I would say, um, expensive. But 
uh, you do need to pay a little bit more Losing to pay um, to play uh, Alpha Strike, right? Because it is a company level game. Alpha Strike is way more balanced thanks to the standardized combined arms and aerospace cards. Oh, uh, yeah. The other thing I liked about um, when I opened the box, I did see there, there was... Um, there were little cards for aerospace and like thumper artillery and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. It kind of reminds me of MechWarrior Online. Um, where your by. mechs are... <clears throat> we're, we're in a whole, whole, whole ass battle right here. Um, uh, <clears throat> what was I, I saying? Me. Oh, yeah, the cards. Because it, it gets a little whack. Like, the power level gets a little whack. Oh, this Shrek guy needs to die. Um, the power level gets a little whack when you're, when you're thinking about uh, moving into combined arms, especially um, from what I hear, aerospace. Um,. Which I, which I don't like. I don't, I'm not, I don't like cheese in the power creep. Um, someone showed me a list where they had like 40 infantry with AC-10s. It's just very strange um, to me. I don't like losing in composition. I hear ya. Um, like you can with, um, like you can with Warhammer. It just gives me some weird, just give me some weird like OP, I don't know, OP build guy vibes. So I do like the fact that Alpha Strike has, um, like, you don't take Thumper Artillery, you just take, like, the card or whatever. You take, like, the ability to airstrike and all that. And that seems a little bit more fun. Because I think Battletech, as fun as Combined Arms is, uh, we probably want to keep the focus uh, mostly on the mechs. Twelve v twelve um, type games are one hundred percent doable in Alpha Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be fun to. Um, I mean, I've done a uh, company level game in Classic as well, but yeah, it's a lot more doable. I think that one game took me. Oh, I don't know, all of like two two whole day two whole like things of playing, and we had to like leave the board. Um, just like kind of there, <laughs> we had to leave the board for a whole week. Infantry with AC-10s. Yes, yeah, so he, he like ran like 40 infantry with AC-10s. It was weird. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let me just introduce you to this game. I heard you like combined arms. Let me just wreck you with AC-10s. Like, dude. <laughs> dude. 40 AC-10s. Yeah, but, I mean, the answer would be some kind of like weird flamethrower, whatever, counter thing. Um, why, thank you. I always wanted three PPCs to the chest. Um... Oh god, Decker, hang on, boy. Hang on, buddy! Oh, he ain't making it. Oh! I'm hit! <laughs> Decker. I'm sorry, my man. <laughs> Alright. Well. Uh, what do we want to do here? Decker's got to get the heck out of here. Uh, we'll move him like here for two evasion. He's trying. Did we put jump jets on him? He did it. Uh, fire at. Oh, he can't. Okay, brace. I guess. I guess we'll move our other mechs up. Maybe I should put Decker in the back. It might be smarter to put Decker in like a... Why can't my guys move forward? All right, you know what? Jump like this, I guess. This is such a weird map. Engaging jump jets. This is how he earned his name. <clears throat> yeah, where is that... Uh. Why can't I hit anything? I can't hit anything. All right, whatever, just brace. Um, where? It, how do I hit that Shrek PPC? This is such a this is such a strange map where like fighting downhill and the angles are all funny. Standing by. Um, I guess my Centurion's got. Okay, is this the PPC carrier? No, it's a bulldog. We need an angle on the PPC and the Shrek. I 
guess we can't, so we just attack. Okay, we just attack the bulldog, I guess. Roger. That's fine. How is anyone gonna do anything in this uh, on this map? Glitch. Can you, you, can you even get an angle? Do we have jump jets? No, no jump jets. Uh, we can work our way down here, I guess. We'll just draw aggro. Moving out. Try and save Decker by drawing aggro. <clears throat> the Shrek is gonna Shrek you. It's all over. Oh God, I just got that. I just got. That Kavros. It's like cutting onions, Matt. The emotions have layers. Hello, stop beating up Decker. Please, game. That shot went internal. Alright, where's that Shrek going? Okay, it's falling back. I guess worst comes to worst, we can play really passive and just pepper things with uh Prepper things with all our, our LRMs as long as we get rid of the LRM. Okay, goodbye, Decker. It's nice to meet you, sir. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no. <laughs> Getting my ass kicked. <laughs> ah, Decker. The problem is, I don't have an angle. Eject him to save costs. Might want to eject him. Good to go. 17 HP. Okay, yeah, we might need to eject. How, what's the eject? Where's the eject button? Where is the eject button? I would like to eject from my mech. <laughs> the left side right button. Ah. Eject. Ejecting. <laughs> Get out of there, sir. Get out of there, Decker! <laughs> Good to go. Uh, I guess we just have to play a little more careful now. Where the heck are all? Why can't I get an angle? Okay, we'll use this to scout. Wait, no, we we'll use the blackjack to scout. It can. Okay, it's gonna get blasted by everything. Can it? Can we do anything here? I guess. I guess we just send another one into the grinder. Uh, okay. All right, this Shrek PPC carrier needs to go, so we'll alpha strike that. And if it doesn't die, we'll send some LRMs. All right, perfect. And then the other one is the LRM carrier. I'm assuming because my blackjack now has line of sight, my centurion should be able to attack. Hello, what? Oh, okay, it's an interesting. What's up? I didn't, oh, so that's where it is. I've had the harebrained scheme for years and didn't know how to eject pilots. Same. Ready for order. Okay, Ricochet, I think you're gonna go for the LRM carrier. Where is it, right here? Uh, 15, I guess we can, if we're playing smart, we can split fire, so we'll fire. We'll just overkill it with one, and then the other one should go on like the mech, I guess. Maybe it should go on to the bulldog, since it's easier to kill. So we'll hit the bulldog. Uh, let's overkill the LRM carrier just by a little bit. I think that seems a little safer, right? I'd rather have a whole LRM carrier off the field. Perfect. <clears throat> Infantry is designed to stand and die. Guns need a vehicle to tow too. Never split fire. Yeah, but we had that guy, right? I think Commander? I think it's fine because we since uh, because we we had him like dead to rights, you know, because we didn't have um On my way. we didn't have that have to do that much HP damage to kill him. As long as we, like, kill it, uh, it's okay, right? <clears throat> I think overkill, if we spent too much since spent the other LRM, we would have overkilled it and wasted a little bit. Versus we could stick a little bit of damage onto the Manticore, or the Bulldog. Bulldog. I love playing infantry as objective takers. My goal is to get all the squishy dudes onto your comms tower and upload the enemy dead. Uh, upload the enemy dead. It doesn't mean they need to take, make it out again. <clears throat> I think so, too. I think, um... When I when we do our combined arms um, review or we start looking at combined arms, one of the things that uh, I'd like to explore is maybe um, infantry mounted on uh, helicopters like the Karnovs or um, some kind of APC. Uh, oh yeah, we get to try out um, we get to try out Glitch's new build here. 
and the bulldog is the perfect victim. But, um, but yeah, I think I think some combined arms is okay, but it just has a little bit of um, it's a little bit easy to cheese, which makes me a little nervous. Ooh, I'm kind of liking uh, kind of liking this vindicator build here, which is the super efficient down. damage. Oh yeah, for the um, for the uh, one infantry dude is a good, as is as good as a platoon for the initiative sinking. Correct, correct. <clears throat> okay. Good to go. So where are we at now? We have this enforcer guy left. We have Slick up front. Uh, I think yeah, it's Ricochet commander. first, right? Because she has this. No, no. Uh, I don't think it's gonna gonna break armor, but we can try. Oh, that's a obscured shot. Okay, let's move. I guess it's better to take the obscured shot rather than be out of cover. I got combined arm stuff in the Kickstarter, mostly for campaign stuff. Yeah, I think some is okay. Just when it gets like overboard, uh, it, it's just it just a little it just gets a little funny, you know. Drop infantry is amazing. As a compelling commander, telling your infantry you keep, uh, you keep what you kill, and dropping them out of a VTOL <laughs> makes for good flavor and storytelling. Oh, we took a head hit. Uh oh. I think it'll be fine. That's that's a pretty cool uh, story. Uh, if the, if the commander just drops you off and says, "Hey, look, if you salvage this, uh, if you salvage this, uh, it's yours." Ooh, we get a, a clear shot at this enforcer. Nice. Yeah, I think that I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, I don't know if you were here for my uh, stream where we talked about some role-playing elements. But yeah, if I, I would, that kind of is similar to uh, the idea I had with the role-play um, with the with the Caritans, uh, the disenfranchised Caritans. I always forget their name. Legion of Vega. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's a pretty. It seems like a pretty good story. Um, let's see here. Do I have to move yet? Hello? Oh, um... We can hit the... We can hit Commander. with Ricochet again, right? Uh, we let's just get closer. <clears throat> uh, we're a little bit faster, so we can hit with Ricochet again before this guy moves. Perfect. I really want to do a roleplay campaign type thing for Battletech someday. It seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, it seems neat. I think um, I'd be willing to uh, try it for a couple of rounds uh, and see how it goes. But I think again, it always depends on um, always depends on your dungeon master, right? For any game, your mileage kind of varies depending on your dungeon master. Oh, we get to go again, and we get to hit this uh, enforcer yet again. Very cool. I guess I should have moved up. What's your face? Lich. Well, that's okay. We got some good damage on this guy. Large laser crit. Very cool. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Anti-mech infantry is a badass storytelling uh, telling beat, though. Dudes climbing mechs with explosives and detonators bunch of their team. Yeah. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> My Jackrabbit company is a Fedcom jump remote. infantry company with the anti-mech through armor crit ability. I love jumping off of rooftops onto unsuspecting juggernauts. That seems cool. Commander? That seems neat. Oh, uh, we should have moved uh, Glitch. Or we should have shot Glitch first. Oh, wait, we can use this precision strike. Well, what am I doing? We'll use the precision strike. We'll use our abilities. Uh, let's just go for the center torso. Let's just try and down. All right, good, good try, good try. I'm surprised that Battletech doesn't have something to... Uh, like rodeoing mechs, rodeoing mechs. Oh, like jumping on, um, jumping on mechs. They have it with like the battle armor, right? The um, the elemental armor. I don't know if they have. I don't know what happens after uh, clan invasion, but I do know that elementals can jump on, um, can jump on mechs. How hard did we hit this thing? Uh, I don't want to reserve any mechs. I want to just hit this guy. Oh, uh, the vindicator is overheating. That's okay. Um, we'll turn off a medium laser. I guess we ran this mech a little too hot, so when we get in the mech bay, we have to uh, tone things down a bit. 
Uh, we can precision strike again. I, I kind of want to bust through this guy's center torso. Try it. Right, Commander. Nice. Self. Anti Canadian, uh, sorry, Canadian fate. What of a novel? What novel series had the woman who was an expert anti mech guerrilla tactics? I don't know. I know that um, uh, the Grey Death Legion supposedly was a ha, was like good at using infantry. Um, I guess we can just keep precision striking. I always forget to use these abilities, so we may as well just burn them. There was a Battletech game where you started as a B a B A and stole mechs that way. What the heck? It's so weird. Is that like Mech Warrior Four? I think I remember my friend that came over was telling me that you could be a little battle armor guy, but I I don't know what that is. I don't. I've never played a game like that before. Waiting for orders. Uh, I guess you can. I want like a direct fire. Is that a direct fire? Okay, perfect. War War Cheever Mech Assault Two was great. I love jacking battle mechs GTA style. Old Mech Assault games for next Ah, interesting. Was Mecha is Mech Assault the same franchise? Is Mech Assault the same tra franchise as BattleTech, or is it something else? Uh, there are. Okay, these guys are just like standing there for whatever reason. Order. Interesting. <clears throat> we'll just keep moving up, I guess. Roger just that. moving up nice and slow. The first suggestion I ever got in base Battletech was ditching the AC2s on the blackjacks and replacing them with AC5s. I did. I have a Franken. Uh, I have a Franken build on this guy because I don't like AC5s either <laughs> from tabletop. I think they're bad. Commander? Uh, this guy's no jump jet, so we have to go around this way. It's apocryphal. It's Battletech. Mech Assault is Battletech, but arcadey as hell and non-canon. Ah, I see, I see. I remember in the first chapter, she took out a stinger by using a downed power line to, to a spot, to spot a weak knee joint. Hmm, interesting. Oh, racks. I think racks are worth it. I haven't ever used uh, racks in the... Uh, in any of these video games. Um, but I do like racks on Mech MechWarrior um, Online, where I use them. They're kind of like the CC weapons. It's kind of neat. I run a Shadowhawk with triple racks. Or a Bushwhacker with double rack fives. AC5s have range, and if you're using advanced rules for different ammo. Yeah, I heard something about, um... Standing by. I heard something about uh, precision ammo being kind of good. Um, although I'm not there yet in terms of, uh, like, timeline, so I can't say. I think the only ammo that's available right now in the time I'm in is flak ammo, which isn't super useful. I mean, I guess it's kind of useful if you're running um, just a blackjack with AC2s. Like, you can just turn into an anti-air mech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The racks make my burnt brain happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do like um, shooting cockpit <clears throat> in MechWare Online and blinding people. That's always fun. What? These guys are, like, glitched. They're just, like, standing here, not, not doing anything. What do thunder missiles do? What do the thunder missiles do, Kairos? Uh, wh how do we not? How? What? Are you seeing this, Commander? What is going on here? They're just not. They're just bugged. They're just standing here like derps. Thunder missiles lays mines. Interesting. Oh, yeah, so you're like commander. denying areas of the board. <clears throat> On the move. Interesting, interesting. They might not have LOS. Right, right, right. These are probably... I did see a fire starter in here, which like one shot my... Uh, my... <clears throat> my blackjack the other time. Good so I have to be a little careful. 
Uh, what's the proper way down this hill? Moving to position. I, I, what I don't, well, the worst would be, the absolute worst would be these guys activating, and then all three of them are just on top of me as soon as, uh, as soon as they quote unquote spawn. Ah, the fire starter. Yes, back in my day when I was playing, uh, the fire starter didn't do quite as much damage. Ice reduces movement speed and increases stability damage taken, but it improves unit heat taking ability by 50%. Sounds fine. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Cicada. The old Cicada boy. Bad. Hopefully this isn't bug. That'd be embarrassing. That'd be an embarrassing little... little thing if, uh... On my way. If this game was bugged, if the bug mechs were bugged, target locked. Okay. Oh, does it ignore cover if it's uh? Waiting if it's for orders. Range like that. Okay, let's keep our vindicator back here. Right, commander. <clears throat> Thunder LRM is the chonk missile. Okay. Hello, I know you have a fast daughter in there. I Oh, they just totally are bugged. They just totally are not activating at all. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess this is gonna be an easy fight. Uh, and then we can come in with Ricochet. She can get a nice line of sight. Oh, we sight up the next mech. All right, nice. There's, there's a weapon that does five damage per missile. Uh, what are these? Are these both cicadas? Locust. Okay. Well, let's just focus fire these missiles. I don't know when these, these guys are going to uh, start attacking me. So. Just take them out one at a time. Commander? One at a time. Affirmative. Sana rules all. I actually have seen a few um, errors, I guess, with Sarna. Um, not that it has very many, but I actually have seen a couple of things um, with Sarna that are uh, were were wrong, but not 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 very many. The people at Sarna are uh, pretty great. Pretty great. Okay, let's uh, let's just start edging in on on these guys here. And start cleaning up these bugged mechs. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna grief them really at all. I just think that's uh, that'd be bad if we precision shot uh, like the legs off to just immediately take them to salvage. Be a little too cheaty in my book. Commander. <clears throat> uh, Ready for orders. Is this game crowdsourced? Uh, CT, I guess. Confirm. This game was not originally crowdsourced, was it? Was this like a, just a straight up Kickstarter? Exiled Zebra, hey nerdy, love to see you on MRC. Gonna have a batch all Oh, battle you one day. Ah, okay. Welcome, Mr. Exiled Zebra. Thank you for uh, stopping by and chat. Yeah, I am in uh, the MRC Discord. Good to go. I did have, uh, was trying to set up a game, but then I, I, accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally forgot that I gave, I gave him the wrong time. Like I, I was doing something that day and I came back and I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Um, But yeah, I, I do play um, a couple of people there. Um, not, not, you know, just when I, when I have, when I have time, don't want to promise anything, uh, that I can't deliver on. Okay. I'm scared of the fire starter here, but we'll give him a fighting chance. We'll give him a fighting chance to wake up. It was a Kickstarter game originally. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Welcome, Source Vong. Welcome to chat. Thank you for the clarification. 
Are you exiled zebra on the Discord as well? Waiting for order. Or do you go by a uh, uh, do you go by a different name, uh, Mr. Exiled Zebra on Discord? I I I was looking at a couple of campaigns to play on there. Um, but they didn't really float, float, as it were. Commander? But eventually, I think one of them will. Why is why is this lady not able to shoot Moving properly? Fast. I guess the fastest way to do it would be coming behind them and shooting them, right? We'll just walk up and do that. <clears throat> All right, glitch. Good to go. Come up this way. Moving to position. Nope, Sergeant Staff Luce. Luke Winters is my Discord name. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, it's always a little weird. Always a little hard to, uh, always a little hard to tell who's who. No, let's not, let's not even call it shot. Let's just attack. All right, so this gives us a bit of, okay. No, memo to myself, remove a couple of medium, like move, remove like one medium lasers on this Vindicator when we get back, because it's a little too hot. And ricochet, yeah, move on up. Oh no, just uh, just stand there and attack. Actually, just just stand there and attack. Rain it on. Aye, aye. There are special pilots that are backers. Oh, is that what they were? So it was, um, it was crowdsourced. Wait, can I? How do you melee? What button is melee attack? You just have to kind of get in here. Okay, we'll try it. Unsteady, okay. Oh, they're still not waking up. All right, Slick, I guess you just attack. I guess the regular attack would do more here. Uh, we can move behind, I guess, like this. Okay. <clears throat> and fire. Uh, precision strike. Fire into the rear. Go. Get him? Perfect. Enemy mech destroyed. Yes. And I guess Ricochet can fire like this. Are there in front I guess I guess the uh I guess in the <clears throat> In the modded stuff, there's like all kinds of, I'm guessing, like Inferno missiles and stuff. Oh, the PPC is not in minimum range yet. Nice. Okay, we'll precision strike his rear too and just finish this. Get him! <laughs> nice. Mech destroyed. Ah. All right. Mission, Mission complete. What did we get? What? What loot did we get? Payout 307. Okay, that's a nice, that's an upgrade. All right, my Shadowhawk got beat up because we were a little careless here. Oh, we have a fire starter part. Nice. Uh, I don't really care about the cicada part. We can take an enforcer part. And there's an LRM 20. Oh, and there's PPC plus. Maybe I'll just take the LRM-20. Okay. So we got a whole fire starter. That's kind of cool. Have you guys... Do you guys use the fire starter in your games? Or uh, in your Battletech games? Or no? Uh, not in your classic, but in, in this in this battle version of Battletech. Do you use it? The fire start is a dangerous mech for its tonnage. Carefully timed attack with its flamers can shut down any mech and leave it open to punishment from your other forces. The FS9H also makes a decent light hunter killer. Interesting. Okay. Send a mech to storage. Uh, let's get rid of the locust. I don't need him. Actually, just scrap it. I don't. I don't see myself ever using it. Okay. Let's go into the mech bay. Let us. 
Oh, we have to refit this guy. I guess our SRM-6 uh, exploded. Uh, we need just a regular SRM-4. Uh, we can ditch the small laser, maybe? And a heatsink? Uh, and maybe we'll stack in another... Maybe we'll upgrade to this to an SRM-6. Seems good. Uh, confirm. And we can look at our fire starter. Let's refit that guy. It's got jump jets, machine gun ammo, and machine guns. It's got... Are these support weapons? What are these? These are ballistic hardpoints. I see. We can put... Uh, what do you what do you think for this? Do we put four medium lasers on this thing? Do the flamers generate heat? Damage heat zero. They're free. Uh, MGs are support weapons. Okay, okay. So do we put all flamers on this thing? Plus four ammo. Oh, it has four ammo. What do we do? Keep the flamers. Fully recommend loading up on small lasers and jump jets. Keep the flamers. Okay, some people are saying keep the flamers. Some people are not. Let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. Do we want... Let's ask here. Uh, start a poll. Uh, fire starter build. Uh, I guess we could go... Four flamers. We could also go four... Uh, like laser boat. Uh, we could also go MGs only. I'm assuming MGs do, um, MGs are like the most damaging. Knife Fighter Zaku. Flamers are still good, but you can backstab with small lasers super well. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Four flamers. Wow. All right. Vote now! Vote now! <laughs> da, 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 da. Looks like it's four flamers. Looks like we want to do four flamers. All right. Uh, I guess we're doing four flamers. Let's throw in those flamers there and see where we're at. Uh, I also don't have... Ah, we had those. Oh, we already have four flamers. Oh, we can put in our, uh, MG pluses, right? Wait. One, two, three, four. Four, okay. MG pluses. Uh, and then... Does that make us too heavy? Our small... Small lasers are also support weapons. But what if we need the tonnage to... Okay, we need the tonnage for armor. Let's... Uh, max armor? Okay, and now we're at 35 tons. So we can have MGs, but no... Four flamers. What if we just went four flamers... Wait, they're only half a ton. They're only a quarter ton each. What do we drop? Your MGs are dry. Ammo's gonna be rough. Half a ton MG ammo. So it just... We need armor on the legs. 20. Seems about... Decent. Uh, 75, I guess. We don't need that much armor in the back. Uh, 35. Okay. Mm, I want to drop like a ton, but doesn't look like we can. Do we want to drop a jump jet? Does it roll like tabletop MGM? I think it shoots it like multiple times. We build this guy into a backstabber. We have these MG pluses. We may as well use them. Uh, and we need to drop... We need to drop so much. These flamethrowers weigh a ton. They weigh a lot. 
Uh, I don't want to go down to one medium laser. That just seems bad. Maybe we'll drop a jump jet. And we'll add half a ton of ammo. MG half. Oh, right. She can go anywhere, so we can go in the legs. Uh, and then we'll drop some head armor, I guess. That seems fine. Flamers kind of contradict a backstabber. But we need it in the back so it doesn't get shot, right? We'll try that. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. That looks good. Jets are how you stop getting shot at with max movement for evasion. I think we'll try and make five work, right? Normally you would want... Uh, I don't know. Normally you don't really... I don't like to move around my jump jets in my classic builds, but... I think it's okay. Alright. So that paid for the upgrade there. We'll just do normal. And we'll continue on. Have you seen the new CGL models? Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. Their heat exhaust... All their heat exhaust is in the back. I have not seen the new Catalyst Games Labs models. I do... When I was going through my um, current collection, I did notice that they... Like, if it models a heatsink, sometimes they have, like, a heatsink in the back, and then it models the jump jets, I think, normally in the in the right uh, in the right areas, which is pretty cool. It's doing the ship upgrade. So we built our recreation bay. Uh, I guess we kind of need repair and refit. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. <clears throat> uh, what else do we want? Jump jets are either wasted or fully clutch. It's down to how you use it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. They're like, I don't know. You, they, they do seem like they waste tonnage until you actually like they're actually useful, and you're like, oh my god, this is so good. Uh, I kind of wish the catapult was more like the MechWare Online slash Modern Game version, but it does look more like the classic. I think it's okay. I think the only... There were a couple weird ones. I thought the Centurion was a little funky. Um, as I, I, I was more used to the um, the chunkier MechWare online looking Centurion. Um, the CGL sculpt for the Centurion is a little is a little weird. What do we want here? Uh, are there any good loot? Any good loot? Cock, cockpit mod? It's fine. Um, do we have, I guess we'll wait for our Shadowhawk to be done. And I guess Decker needs to, <laughs> Decker needs to heal too. So we'll just run it for like maybe 14 days and then do another mission. Iron Boy does not use jump jets. They are useless for him. Only his snipers have them. Oh, interesting. I will say that the CGL Atlas is my favorite version of the design. I do like the um, I do like the Catalyst Games um, Atlas. I have one uh, that I'm gonna paint up soon. It does look very good. When my friend um, brought his, I was like, "Wow, that is so beefy!" Like, uh, it it goes it overflows off of the hex, which I thought was really cool. Like, um, it scaled very well. I guess we'll do another ship upgrade. We're running a little low on cash, but I think it's fine. Uh, we'll do power system. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. And then we will continue. Ah, we can do another mission. We don't. We, I don't want to take the fire starter out for a spin. Oh wait, wait, wait. We need to tweak our um, vindicator. I forgot. Uh, vindicator. We need to tweak. We just need to drop a medium laser. I think. Someone was saying that they had a build for it. Uh, the SRM, right. Uh, I think I like this build. We have a ton remaining. Uh, if we have a ton of armor, or a ton remaining, maybe we just do heatsink. Maybe we just do heatsink and keep it nice and cold. Just do a heatsink. That's fine. Right. It'll be very, it I don't know, year. uh... Why can't we do this? What What is wrong with this guy? There's an exclamation point. What is wrong with him? Oh, half a ton short. Uh, half a ton short. Guess more armor. Seems fine. How much ammo does this give? One. 
hundred rounds, so ten rounds of shooting. Um, uh, maybe we should actually drop a ton here. We don't need this arm. And then we'll give him another ton of ammo. That seems good. I think that seems a little more safe. Confirm that. Okay, we'll just wait two more days and we'll just continue to catch some mech Pokemon. I want more mech Pokemon. I need the mech Pokemon, Commander! Contracts. Did you all see that big Union dropship model? They're making an actual CGL Union dropship model? The CGL Marauders look gorgeous. Even if I do like the Mech War Online ones a bit too. I have a Marauder. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks overall pretty good. Uh, Tundra Battle. Highlands Battle. Highlands Battle. Tundra Battle. Uh, capable of defending our convoy. We never defend convoys because that is bad. Ah! A Lance of Directorate Mechs has been rampaging upon restoration territory on Weldry. Awesome. Destroy mechs. Nice and simple. Give me some mechy bowl. Okay, we want Decker. Maybe we'll put Decker in the... Uh, we'll put Decker... What if we put Decker in the back we made? No, because he's got a... Uh, he has to sensor check. So we'll put Decker in the blackjack, I guess. That seems fine. Are they making a miniature scale? I've seen people like 3D print their own Union dropships, which I thought was kind of cool. Like if I had, like, you know, the, the cool complete picture would be a Union dropship plus your 12, your company of 12 boys. I think that'd be really neat to have. But, um, but no, I, I'm not aware that they did a, did a whole Union dropship model. Oh, it was third party, but scale with the box models. It was huge. Command interface initiated. I want a little space egg. Why is it always dark? Why is it always dark, Commander? Why? All right, where the enemy at? Let's scout. Uh, how do I share? I don't think I allowed links on YouTube just because I got like bots that are just like spamming links and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it, if the print is out there, if uh, people want it, um, I'm assuming they could print it out as long as it's legal. It seems fine-ish, right? As long as they like did it themselves. My Discord is dead, yes. No more Discord. Oh, okay, mix. Um, I guess we get... Okay, these are both medium mechs, so they're going to move in range. I think we have our evasion pretty high. So can we can... Let's move... Hmm. I guess, you know what? I think it's... Fine to... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't actually want to move. I don't actually want to move, sir. Orders. Uh, oh, Ricochet can move up and get a beat. Okay, that's fine. If our LRM can boat can draw a range, then that's that's good. We'll just move her up and fire. Oh, it's an enforcer. Very cool. Yeah, you can post the uh, company's name, I guess. That's fine. As long as it's like a legal sculpt. <clears throat> don't share any illegal things here. We buy... We buy legit in this channel. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's because of her advanced range. Okay, who do we want to sack? I think we sack just Medusa's turn. He's fine. He just walks up. And I guess if we need to... Okay, now another guy goes, right? Bring your mech into my guns. Oh, it's a black... Oh, it's a DB blackjack. Nice. I want a DB Blackjack. It's a little light on armor, but I like the lasers. And we kept the Shadow Lock Evasion high. That's good. 
Uh, now we bring Glitch up for the punch. On my way. And then we'll follow up with the SRMs. And I think that'll be good. I think it'll work out for us. Tell me what to shoot. <laughs> All right. Move slick up here. Uh, we will make it hard for this guy to hit us. We will move like this. And I think we're not even heating up here, so we're fine. Oh. I kind of like the no heat up uh, builds. You just can fire everything every turn. I, we have yet to try it on a uh, hotter map, though. But, yeah. Well, is hit. Oh, there's another Griff. Oh, wow. It's a whole medium lance versus my medium lance. Nice. Okay. We have an actual fight here on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. It's an actual fight. Uh, okay, this guy has no defense pips, so now we hit him. Good to Maybe go. we can hit him with Glitch here. Yeah, that's going to be a big damage uh -huh. hit with Glitch. Just have her unload with the three medium lasers. Now's a good time to damage test here. So, what does this give us? This gives us still minimal. Okay, so this seems like an ideal, uh, ideal build, at least for an ice map. And we took off half of its guns. Very good. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Now the blackjack moves, okay. It's not too much of a threat, it's halved, but maybe we can like just finish it. Uh take it out. Alright, the Shadowhawk's out of evasion, so maybe we move him next. Uh to try and keep his evasion high. Uh where can he move? The Enforcer has yet to move, so we'll get in the sweet spot. What is this? Geothermal. Only sink 50% of their armor heat. That's not good. Uh, we can move like that. That'll give us two evasion pips. We'll move like this. I think that'll work. Responding to the stream title, Davion. <laughs> it's, uh, the answer was, uh, Bax. <laughs> was the answer. We'll precision strike. It was on, uh, I found it on, uh, I found it on Reddit. But yeah. Facts. <laughs> Welcome to chat, Aron Nox. Thank you for, uh, thank you for joining us. We are playing some Battletech 2018 again. After a long time away. Okay, nice. We kept our evasion high, so the shot missed. Now, do we want to go for the Enforcer or the... Griffin. Both of them have... Stand no, by. both of them... What do we have? Blackjack and Medusa. Okay, we'll bring the Blackjack up. Because the Enforcer has fewer evasion Good pips, turn. we'll bring up the Enforcer first. Beating the campaign was very satisfying. Oh, I've actually never beaten the campaign. I'm embarrassed to say. Um, But uh, but hopefully this time... You know, the, the sixth Ready time I play this game, it's a charm. I always get... Um, and I'm sure some of you are like this, right? Like, you'll play a game until it stops being fun and then just, like, leave it alone and never finish it. Uh, can we precision strike? I think we just blast this guy with everything and then take him Taking out. The shot. Please. Yes. Excellent. Now, I wonder if we can catch this target. griffin. That'd be kind of cool if we got a, a griffin salvage. Capellans backstab everyone equally. That's why everyone hates them. <laughs> Not to feel embarrassed, uh, there are some really unfair difficulty spikes in story missions. Oh, uh, okay. I just get bored. Um, I think is is like my problem. Commander. Uh, yep. I think what's interesting about this game is the way that the evasion works. So you don't want to hit high, high to low. But it's more like I'm hitting with my, like, useless mechs to drop the evasion. Uh, and then, and then it kind of in Roger. the middle shooting my PPC. I'm just using that to drop evasion, and then I'll bring Glitch Waiting in. You, Commander. Uh, Glitch can probably just attack, right? Ah, but she's not in her ideal weapons range, so we move her up? Yeah. 
This is, it's a little funky. It's a little funky where I have to actually move up to become more accurate to get into the next range bracket and it overall increase, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's a little, little different metas to, to play around with. Um, I guess we, maybe we go for a leg here. Maybe we try for a leg, 18%. I mean, it's probably not gonna hit, but you never know. They are equal opportunity bank stabbers. Uh, okay, and we, I guess we can just shoot. We can just shoot. Oh, we gotta step into clear line of sight. Looks good. Free range nuke gifting. I hear a lot of memes about Capellans, although I haven't explored exactly why. And then we get in the sweet spot with this guy. I guess we'll start working on his, uh, on rotating to his side and trying to kit his leg, although it seems pretty low percentage. Uh, Codius Dax, welcome to chat. Welcome to chat, Mr. Codius. I once had to fight two literal companies of pirate mediums with a lance of assaults. The only saving grace I had was called shot mastery on two pilots jeez okay well, this guy's out of pips so i think we just keep moving and attacking here uh i want to dance out of melee range i think the only thing that would really bust me up is any kind of melee this guy had so just keep rotating around just keep rotating around Those bad intel. There are bad intel missions. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. There are bad intel missions. Okay, cool. We have a knockdown, so maybe we now we can hit with glitchy girl. Glitch is always my go-to sniper. I really like her. Uh, I like her attitude. Uh, let's go for a leg. It's not. Doesn't increase our. Doesn't increase our percentage. Okay, we blew off the right closer right arm. I guess it's. I mean, it's. It's pretty. It's a pretty hard shot. Another hit like I guess we shouldn't be too coat. angry if we don't get this. Uh, get it this time Waiting around. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Tarians didn't sign the Ares Accord, so weren't protected. Capellan felt their warheads were getting close to their expiration date. Oh boy. All right, we got this. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. All right. Mission Easy mission. Easy peasy. I would like a day mission so I can actually see what's happening, Commander. <laughs> okay. I guess we take... I've seen a lot of enforcers, and I do like the Griffin over the DB. So we will confirm that. Oh, we got an AC-10 too. Nice. Uh, one of the best things in the campaign is when you're given the- oh yeah, the Highlander, yeah, yeah. The Gauss Rifle was really good. I do have to decide whether I want to put everything on the Highlander or spread everything out. I don't know which would be more, uh, more fun. Okay, perfect. Um, so we got our money. I think we just keep hitting these contracts, right? Uh... Thief and Banditry. Mercenary Company of Defending. No, we don't do defending. Max pay. Forward observers. Capellan military units surveying military and industrial targets. The increased activity from the Capellan Confederation near several priority facilities suggests a strike is incoming soon. We're tasking with accepting the scout lands and identifying targets and eliminating them before to report back. Uh, facility must be destroyed. Inbound dropship. Our local defense forces ill-equipped to handle lines of mechs. Okay, let's let's fight these Taurian mechs. I want more mechs. I need more mechy boys. And the way we what get more mechy boys is fighting more mechy boys. This cargo is a hell of a ship. So let's get some mechs. Intercept the Taurian lance. Uh, max salvage. I want. Oh, 
Uh, maybe I want a little bit of money. I want a little bit of money. And that team looks good. Let's send it. <clears throat> Pimp your Highlander. <laughs> Use the rest to heat the brushes. Darius's intel is always sus. <laughs> Average Darius intel moment. I guess we'll put it to a vote once we get there. I think it would be funny to have like a just the 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 best Highlander ever. Although the smart the smart money would be spreading it around. <laughs> But if we put everything on Highlander, that might be funny. Command interface initiated. Dude, what is with all these night missions? Okay, perfect. Okay, it's dead. Acquire their location and eliminate them. Alright. You heard the man. Run forward. Enemy detected. I got a don't expect much resistance mission with three assault lances. Put all the double heat sinks on the locust to power a single large laser. Acknowledged. Oh, there's actual mechs here. Uh okay. Get into cover. Got it. I wasn't paying attention. I do think a good um build is the is the locust or the cicada build with a PPC and machine guns. There's just not enough like tonnage to go around. So maybe it's possible with uh it could actually be possible with uh with uh, some of the Lost Tech stuff. Was this a Locust M? And a Locust M. Wow, these are not the mechs I wanted. Um, okay, let's use Standing Ricochet. Back. Let's just bounce her in here. And we can... I guess we just let... Wow, look how many evasion pips this thing got. I guess we can just use our all our missiles on one. That seems fine. All weapons. Oh, jeez, it already hit the leg. Okay, I already went internal. Scored a critical hit. Okay, I guess we just take off this take out this locust here. Not too worried about any kind of incoming damage. It's gonna be minimal because I have so many pips, so many defense pips. And then, uh, we'll bring our big banger. We'll bring in an uh, old glitchy girl here. On my way. Oh, this is a good time to... I know this map's a little cool, right? But now's a good time to test it on a non-tundra section. That's still, like, very minimal. Okay, and we took out the locust. Very nice. So we just have the one... The two hidden mechs plus, uh, plus this little fast boy here. Uh, we want to come around this way. Maybe not yet. Uh, maybe we'll just stay in cover. We'll play it safe. Even though this is low percentage chance to hit, I'd rather not poke my face out against this mech and be able to get shot back. Oh, Matt, you're talking about, uh, you're talking about tabletop. I thought you were talking about, uh... I thought you are talking about this game. Okay, we'll reserve Medusa. Oh, it's a heavy. Oh, there's a Black Knight in this game. I don't think I've ever seen a Black Knight. We can get a Black Knight. Whoa, they actually coded a Black Knight. Dang, I want one now. Let's go. Alright. Uh, we got a Medusa. We have no target shot, so we'll just... 30%, 50%. I don't want this Blackjack to brawl with the Black Knight. They both have really low percentage to hit. I guess the AC 265%. Fire it Oh, Black Knight. Let's leg it and drag it home. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. That's a miss. Alright, I think we take care of these fast boys first, these little minor minor little doodads, and then we try and uh we try and rotate onto the side and we use all our precision shots basically to try and hit the leg. It's fishing time! <laughs> uh we'll move 
Commander. We'll just take these out. If it's giving us good Copy percentages that. to hit, we'll we'll take it. This locust messed up. It only has one evasion pip. Please assume the customer submission position. Uh, CT. Wow. Okay. Well, just fire that. Should be kill. If you can get a Marauder, you can farm headshots. It's super easy with the right build. Uh -huh. All right. Um. Yes, Commander. I don't think we hurt him. We just want to get in cover, I guess. Uh, where's a good piece of cover? Does this obscure? This might obscure shots. So we'll go. Hmm. What can I do for you? Maybe Slick comes around this way and starts fighting this target, whatever it is. It seems okay. Hopefully we don't take it too hard from the counterfire from the Black Knight. Where do you see the quirks? Okay, this is a trap. This is not too bad. Uh, fire everything. Where do you see your um your yell uh your blue bar? Oh, your blue bar is here. The resolve bar. Um, uh, glitch. On you, Commander. Glitch can't hit. Do we poke out and brawl with the Black Knight? She can't come this way, so she either wastes her turn or she fights the Black Knight. I think we Waiting just first order. strike it. And uh -huh. since Glitch has the PPC, if she hits, sh the return fire will be reduced, right? Because the accuracy penalty will precision strike. I want to start working on that leg. Firing everything I've got. Okay, didn't hit the leg. That's fine, but we have the sensors impaired. That's good. Definitely save resolve for the Black Knight. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to spend all the resolve on the Black Knight. Uh, and then I guess we rotate to the try and rotate to the side with, like, the Shadowhawk. Uh, just to try and get, like, leg hits, I think. I don't know about this game, but in um, Battletech Classic, uh, the, the chance that the leg improves if you rotate. And we did max our salvage, so we have three pieces of salvage, which we, we could technically get it if we uh, headshot. on. Okay, it's a PPC hit, it's fine. That's not too bad. Warning. Armor low. Oh, uh, okay, it is bad. Just kidding. Um, okay, we need... Oh, it's just arms, it's just arms, it's fine. We need evasion pips. I need evasion pips and this for this trebuchet to die, so I don't take as much damage. All right, so we're gonna do a bunch of damage with trebuchet here. Okay, it's exposed. It's a low armor mech anyway. have here how's this trebuchet doing it's open on the side torso so do i bring my well technically my uh centurion can hit pretty much anything on the map we'll bring out we'll bring out glitch and start working on it uh ppc hit uh ppc hit um we'll put the blackjack in it engage with anything ac2 large laser that really sucks what about a jump jet? Would a jump jet help? Jump jet gets the medium lasers in, and we get evasion. That seems good. Let's go there. Eps are MZR best for headshotting. Lower damage, but if you get the injury fish of the pilot down to dead. Ah, free mech. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not spending any precision shots on the Treb. Uh, and then maybe we go for crits here. And if we manage to heavily wound it, we'll send the Vindicator uh, to attack. I think we pull the... <clears throat> we'll pull our... So I'm, I'm guessing that the Black Knight's going to come this way. So I'll pull this way. Maybe I'll pull like this, just to be in cover. <clears throat> Coordinates received. Just start working this trebuchet down. Engaging target. 
the Marauder with a Gauss Rifle for a UAC is a headshot king. Where do you see the, uh, where do you see the quirks? You guys are gonna have to show me once Recording. we get back into the Critical mech bay. Where, where maybe we'll start building a couple mechs around quirks. Okay, this Treb's still not dead. Uh... Good to go! We can get either a PPC shot or we can start brawling with the Black Knight. I guess we start brawling with the Black Knight. We'll precision shot the leg again and see how far we get. Uh, 48%. So actually getting to the side really does help a lot. It was 18%. It went from 18 to 48. And the Black Knight's running hot already, so it can only it's only gonna be able to do a little bit. I don't think we're gonna die to the Black Knight as much as as damage efficient as it is, it doesn't have crit, so I don't think it's gonna be able to finish us. I think it really depends on it depends on if we're able to rotate to the leg sides and how much precision shot we get and a little bit of luck too. <clears throat> Alright, we're trying to finish off this trebuchet and then we'll focus on the Black Knight. I'm a big fan of shotgunning mechs to the things. I am too. Like this man right here. Left leg, less torso, the less arm. Okay, so his arm's gone, so he drops. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. My turn again. Uh... Not enough for a precision shot yet. What's up, boss? I can maybe attack like this. Does it give me? It does. Um, we'll go CT. The King Crab with dual LB20 plus pluses is a beautiful monster. Target taken. Right, remember, okay. remember me. Remember, remind me to ask you guys about where to find quirks. Cause I do need a, I do need that to, I need to that need, do need to figure out how that works. Oh, we can jump on the hill here, and all our weapons are in range. Perfect. Um, okay, glitch will work on the left side, and then glitch on the centurion will work on the left, and we'll bring the blackjack and the shadow hawk to the right side. I think is the plan. We're overheating a little bit, so we'll drop the medium laser. We'll hit center torso, because I don't care about anything else. I, I only care about the black knight, really. <clears throat> okay. Waiting and on you, glitch Commander. needs to rotate onto the left still. It's a little dangerous. You I think betcha. glitch will live brawling with a black knight, but I think it's okay. Uh, we're overheating here, so we'll... Uh, we we'll drop the turn off the PPC. Oh, please, his leg. At least a couple. Nothing. Okay, fine. 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 Okay, Treb gets back up. I don't think it's too much of a threat anymore. We should be able to kill it either this turn or the next turn. Yeah, and it return attack is bad. Just bad. The LB20 is outrange standard medium lasers. What the heck? That's crazy. Wow, that is a lot. Of, I thought you were overheating, Mr. Black Knight. What happened? What happened, Mr. Black Knight? Are you cooking yourself? Uh, unstable, but it's got full stability HP, so I think it's fine. We just want to rotate onto the right, uh, onto the right, so we can get the blackjack side, and then just kill this guy along the way. Plan. Okay, I wait, wait. Oh, that guy, it's fine. All right. Now, I think what I need is a precision shot. Do I have a precision shot yet? I do. So if I go here, how? Hmm, I want to get my PPC as as accurate as possible. If I go here, I'm still shooting. Okay. If I just, what if I just attack? If I just attack, I'm still on the side torso. Okay. So I'll fire everything here. I'll precision strike. Hit the Black Knight. Called shot the leg. And just pray to Jesus we leg him. No. Oh. Please? Maybe? Ah, it must be at like 1 HP on the Critical hit. How much leg HP does this thing have? 
good to go. How much leg HP do you have? Five leg HP. Okay. This should knock it down then. Aye, aye. Yes, perfect. I saw the last two missiles hit the leg. All right, so we got it down. Now we have to get the other leg. Which means Medusa is up. He has to jump onto the right side. Jump right here. Got it. Uh... 15%. Maybe we just hold our fire. <clears throat> Alright, he he gets up? Ah, okay. Fine, he gets up. I guess. Okay, he's walking. Ooh, he's walking a, in a bad way where Glitch can rotate on the other side because Glitch is our heavy hitter. And he misses with the PPC. Very nice. Very nice. All right, now can Medusa get to the leg side? He can't. Dang. Okay. Can the Shadowhawk get to it? No, he can't. Does my Vindicator have jump jets? Commander? No, it does not. Oh, we got to get out of melee range. Shoot. Yes, Commander. I need to get Glitch. Good to I need go. to get Glitch to the other side without getting melee attacked. Um... Okay, we'll just keep rotating over. Oh, we can jump into it. Okay, we can jump into it. Perfect. We'll jump this way to increase our chance to hit the leg and just try trying to take this guy's salvage. Overheating. Okay. I don't... How much armor does this have? I don't want to waste my precision strike. We'll just fire. I'm on it. <clears throat> sprint. Oh, I forgot there's a sprint move. Okay, maybe we can sprint glitch over. I like the heat wave effect that they Commander? have here. Okay, what, what happens if we sprint it here? Can't. Uh... Mm... I don't want to get meleeed. I think we're just going to surround this thing like wolves and see if we can only for leg shots. I think we're fine because we have... Uh... Ready for orders. It should be fine because we have... Uh, so much. We have so much health in comparison to this Going Black Knight. At least until 3090 builds when Clan C Fox comes in like a genetically engineered Santa Claus. Throwing Clan's tech to everybody, okay? So he's focusing on Glitch. Which is not ideal, because Glitch is my best sniper. He's in our sniper mech. Like, ideally, it would focus on the Black Knight. Would focus on someone else. But I think Medusa's can get the job done for us. On my way. All right, we'll precision strike with Medusa onto the leg here. Fire everything. Leg shot. Leg shot. Okay. Progress. <clears throat> no precision shot, but it's onto the side. To make sure I don't kill this guy. Can you um? Can you target with? Can you target with melee attacks? 
Can you can you kick people with melee attacks? Good to go. Like will it hit the, will it hit just the leg? No. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Orders. I will bring Ricochet around. <clears throat> And I'll, I think I just keep backing Glitch up and just catch him in a pincer. Waiting we'll get orders. Glitch in cover. Uh, we'll bring her here. Cover this. I'll give the Black Knight a really hard shot onto Glitch. Here, that's fine. <clears throat> well, out of line sight. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> you can get... <laughs> you can get... If you get the 3062 mod. What is this purple thing in the back? Okay, yeah, I hit my mech. I don't care. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die from this Black Knight. All I need is another good precision strike. Good to go. Do I have precision strike yet? No. But we can keep rotating. We can keep rotating onto his side. Maybe I'll shoot. Yes, Commander. Ricochet can't shoot. Okay. Ready for order. Medusa can, so we'll keep moving him over. <clears throat> Oh, I do have precision. Okay, okay. Uh, fifty-one. It's worth it. It's worth. It's worth it. It's it's a whole black knight. Just overheat your Ah, uh, okay. It's fine. 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 Is fine, Commander. Just a little bit of heat damage. You only get two salvage for popping both. I was working so hard. Wait, you told I thought I got the whole thing. 51. Ah, oh, this thing's gonna die. Two is better than zero. Okay, okay, very fair, very fair. You gotta hit the hand for all three. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Uh, okay. Good to go. I guess Glitch can just chill. And Ricochet can also start rotating. Uh, run like there. <clears throat> also, the leg is obscured by the hill. True, 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 but... Wait, so I can't hit the leg at all from that angle? I can't hit the leg at all from that angle? Oh, yes! <laughs> Alright, now now Glitch has a chance. You can, it's just harder? Okay, okay. Alright, now, can I get him with Glitch? Commander? Yes, I can! This is the bad leg, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, I forgot to check. We got to check if I had precision strike. All right. Orange Jesus. Yes! All right, we should have two pieces of sandwich of a black knight. <laughs> Tis just a scratch. All right. Yeah. Look at that salvage. What 
also I want trebuchet. That seems good. Yeah. You can get the last bit from a shop somewhere? Okay, okay, okay. I don't care about the locust pots. I care about the black knight pots. I want the black knight pots, Commander. Uh, I guess we can check the shop for a black knight. The part system makes me giggle. Lady Arano's contract to liberate House Decimus is ready for your review in the command center. We should follow up when you think you're ready. Our mech wars are gaining experience. You're forgetting to level them up. Alright, so let's check the store here. We have any Black Knight parts for sale? No? You have a stalker for a million, though. I see. I see. I have two chunks of, two of three chunks of this mech. <laughs> it is a little funny. Uh, Liberation Panzea. Proceed to Panzea, where you will assist the Restoration's army's efforts to liberate Decimus. Restoration intel suggests this lance was built with long-range fire capabilities. Oh. Suggest that lance built with long-range fire capabilities could be advantageous on this drop. Further details will be provided to you on arrival. Hmm. Huh. Okay, long-range boys. Long-range boys. Let's repair these guys. Repair. I guess our black knight, their blackjack's kind of long-range. Uh, we'll repair the shadowhawk too. Uh, do we want to make any alteration? I think this is good. I think our, I think I like this Vindicator just for like the pure damage thing. Just thinking about how our mech, how we want our mechs to go. I think this build's fine. Feel free to futz around before getting to the story mission. Later, Rano has infinite patience. Hmm. But I wanna, I wanna get to the story. I wanna get to the story. Uh, let us. I think we have enough money for it too. Just checking our our funds here. We've got two million. We got a ship upgrade coming up in seven days. I think we're pretty much good to do the next the next chapter in the story. No. I think I think we're fine. We're fine. Like if I was really hurting for parts, I think I would. But I think this is okay. Let's go to Panzia. Let's go to Panzia. Also, you can take your own sweet time, Commander. I've got all the patience in the world. Collect all four king crabs in all four colors. But Black Knight, though. True, true, true. But but the Black Knight's a rare mech, so who knows when we're going to get that. Let's go do the Star Wars mission. I'll be right back, though. I'll be right back. As we, as we fly. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <clears throat> I was just thinking, what if we did like a hardcore run of this game where whenever the mission came up, we had to immediately take it? What do you guys think? Mecha on, gotta catch them all. You tell us to gather materials, but what if we made it harder on ourselves? Because I know we could just spend an infinite amount of time capturing everything but what if we what if we played it hardcore like as soon as the story mission became available we just had to do it 
Panzer is a pretty rough campaign mission, says Cody Stacks. Welcome to chat, Cody Stacks. But okay, we'll see how hard this is. I'm, I'm not remembering how difficult um, you, this is going to be. Uh, we'll do normal. We're not, like, rich. Travel to Panzia, 20 days. Also, how do you how do you store 150 hey, mechs? Okay, upgrades. and we now to do another upgrade here. Ship upgrades. Uh, we can take Recreation 2, Structure, Habitat Pause, Repair and Refit, Mech Bays, Training Modules. Hmm. Mech Bays, maybe? Oh, that's a million! That'll bankrupt us. Um, Repair and Refit? Half a million. Okay, half a million is fine. I'll get the crew moving. Half a million is fine. <clears throat> ah, minor infraction. An argument draws you to the mess hall. Glitch starts towards you, red-faced and scowling. Commander, I hate to bother you with this, but Ricochet is slacking off again. We're supposed to share garbage detail, but she... Share? You want me to share, Commander? This asshole is the reason we're on cleanup duty in the first place. She acts like she's my boss. Last week, she filed two dozen complaints with the XO. Two dozen? What? What are you doing, Glitch? <laughs> two dozen infractions? The girls are fighting again. I, <laughs> you can't file two dozen infractions with the XO. Oh, morale will help with resolve generation. Right, right. I guess we should pay the extra money if we can afford it then. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind, Commander. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Oh god, we have to do another upgrade. Uh, okay. I mean, we don't have to technically do another upgrade, but, you know. Um, plus one morale. Half a million. That's half a million. Uh, repair and refit? 270. Okay, 270. Yeah, we can afford that. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. <clears throat> Continue. Now I'm getting nervous. I don't know. I don't know how difficult this Panzer mission is going to be. I, I totally forget. We have arrived with Panzer. Not yet. Do they have a Black Knight part by chance? Oh, there's no store here. All right, never mind. Lost the contract. Perdition. Welcome to Panzer. Uh. I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this. All right, we're bringing the A team for this one. So Ricochet, you're out. Behemoth is in, and it looks like we're good to go. This is our. It's the best we can do right now. The directorate doesn't sell. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they're not our friends, I guess. <clears throat> Take control of the directorate's turrets. Don't allow any directorate reinforcements to land. Destroy the spaceport's dropship control center. Take control of the turrets. Don't allow any directorate reinforcements to land. Destroy the control center. The planet's debris field is a real oddity and a holdover from the Maris Civil War. It's a nightmare to navigate without ground support, but don't worry. Okay. Okay. Is this the one where I have to rush a thing? Destroy the garrison You'll units. The Destroy the dropship no control the center before the ADV Chronarch arrives, okay? Uh. Destroy the garrison units. 
destroy the dropship control center. What if we just send our shadow boy to run in here like a fool? What if we just blitz down the center with our shadow boy? I guess we gotta just keep moving, right? Alright, we'll run and gun with the Shadowhawk as much as we can. SRM carrier, no problem. Got it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't say sp everyone sprint? Okay, everyone... Everyone sprint, I guess. Just get in there. We, we have a mission to do. We're on the clock. I always wondered if the Star League had something akin to Bacta tanks. Commander, I'm seeing director SRM carriers on the radar. Recommend engaging that at long range. They'll take you apart if you get close. But we don't have time, Lady Rano. We don't have time. Good to go. Uh, I guess we can start moving into cover, though. Okay, we, we gotta pop them Waiting open with Glitch order. first. So we do that. Is that an SRM carrier? Bulldog. Unknown vehicle. SRM carrier. Okay. We'll pop old glitchy girl way. in here and start targeting down the SRM carriers to reduce the damage we take. Looks good. Got it. Okay, structure exposed. Okay, we got one shot it. Nice. Knocked out a vehicle. Okay, and we need another SRM carrier. Bulldog, SRM carrier, striker. Okay, so this is the only big threat we have. We have uh, the blackjack with the big gun, so we'll just pop them in here. Location confirmed. The cat girls, yes. Who doesn't love a good cat girl? Here it comes. Dead? No? Structure exposed. Okay. We need to follow up with What's up, boss? Uh the LRM carrier here. <clears throat> How much structure does this SRM carrier have? I wanna know that. Meow, meow, Commander. Meow, meow. Uh, it has 17 armor. Okay, so we will split shot in that case. Uh, we'll fire that at A and that, call that B. We'll fire, uh, we want to pierce through, okay, with A, okay. We'll just do two B. It's fine. Acknowledge. More! Don't overdo it. You want more, meow, meow? Wanted more, nya nya. All right, we gotta keep moving with this Shadowhawk as much as possible. I wanna start running down here so I don't run out of time. So I will do the risky move and bum down here. I'll leave this guy, the striker, for other people, but I'll wanna run in with my Shadowhawk. Fully murder it. Take no chances. Alpha strike. Jesus, that bulldog's kind of strong. All right, now we take a little bit of return fire here. Hopefully it's not too bad. A little bit of a peppering. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw, I've seen the SRM carrier fire before with its bajillion SRMs, and yeah, it's no, it's no fun. Wow, okay, uh, Bulldog kind of hurts. Bulldog kind of hurt. bad 16 armor on the leg yikes i hear ya yikes that is not good okay uh let's bring him into cover wow Lord how did that proceed. must have been just a couple lucky shots it should spread right uh, okay we'll leave that for the shadow Alpha strike this. All weapons are go. 
Really, these bulldogs are pretty tanky from the front. Jeez. With a mech coming in. Okay. Uh. Left leg is low. Or is that the right? Left leg is low. So we have to turn to protect our left. Uh. Dang. Okay, we'll leave that for later. That is a problem for future us. Bulldog. I guess we can start sliding. We'll start sliding to the next objective <clears throat> and opening up on the bulldog. Man, this got a little intense. I can see what you mean about this being a little bit of a hard mission. I played a double blind game in both four times. SRM carriers and hiding, and I missed the detect roll. It went poorly. Melee attacks on vehicles do big damage. Okay. Oh, that's why it's taking so much damage on the left. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I gotta get him out of here. Um, oh, that's not good. Four HP. Um, there's no way for me to turn him either. What if I turn him like this? That doesn't really help. Yes, Commander. Um, if I send a Behemoth in here, if I just sh shoot her, no, it doesn't work. Um, if I run slick in, will that work? I don't know where the other heavier guys are, but maybe that will break LOS or something. Just hope my leg doesn't bust. Okay, vehicle destroyed. You saved before this started, right? No! We live in our characters. We accept the consequences. Uh, Behemoth. I need a clear shot with your LRMs here. Girl, you're killing me. All right, whatever, just, just, just get in there. Just get in there, just get in there. Nope. I think, I, I like hardcore games. Uh, so if, 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 you know, if someone dies, they're dead. Okay, that should kill him, right? Please? Not dead yet? Not dead yet. All right, please stop busting my left leg, please. Please? Oh, God. Oh. Be gentle. Be gentle, Mr. Bulldog. Okay, okay, he has the blackjack, it's fine. Commander. All right, luck is with us. Luck is on our side. Ooh, stray shot. Okay, that bunker did help. And we got locked. I was gonna blitz forward with this uh, Shadowhawk, but I think it has to be really. We have to play really careful with it now. Armor breached. Internal damage. Uh, let's bring our Centurion forward, I guess. Our, our Centurion normally plays in the rear, but we can start bringing it forward to tank some shots. Um, what can I do for you? Um. About orders. Aye, aye. <clears throat> what about this? What about a melee attack? Oh, we don't get a melee attack. All right, whatever. Targeting for Look out! What? Okay. Oh, we hit the other side. Okay. Um, Good to go. Like 
this maybe. Oh my god, this is it's making me nervous. All right, nicely done, Commander. Lieutenant Andrus, your approach to HQ security is clear. Roger that, Lady Arano. We have their turrets under friendly control in just a moment. 12 rounds remain. So who can we blitz for? Everyone is up. Everyone else is a 4-6-4 four, four mover. And I don't think our I don't think our Shadowhawk's gonna survive with four leg armor. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh and the objective is there. Okay, so we have to have someone block this way and someone blitzes to the right. Uh, the Vindicator has the best armor, I guess. Don't need to there. tell me twice. Sad lad. You're about to be a very sad lad in a second, Commander. <laughs> Why? Firing What's wrong? What am I doing wrong? This is usually why you bring a light mech, just in case. Oh. I see. I see. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We're able to beat up gotcha. the Centurion. It'll be okay. I've I've come up against worse odds. Although not having my medium lasers is kind of sad. I can confirm a jump jet fire starter claiming clutch with many missions. Okay, so maybe. But it said long range, boys. Oh god. I remember there, I remember this mission now. There's a hunchback and a dragon in this mission, isn't there? Isn't there? Panther, okay. Oh, you know what we're not doing? We're not using our uh our precision shot. That'll help a lot. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We'll just keep dropping mechs. Uh, what can I do for you? All right, this guy's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll move her forward. Yeah, this was it. This is what I remember. Is this a Hunchback 4G? It is a Hunchback 4G. Oh boy. How I love going up against an AC-20 with a no armor leg and no jump jets. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, we'll stay at long range for as long as possible. Move forward you with betcha. glitch a little bit. Precision strike the Centurion on the leg. Convincing Hopefully it opens. Structure exposed. See if you can precision strike the hunchy shoulder. Okay, it has weak back armor too. That's something I remember from tabletop. Okay. Ready for order. Use the Centurion as a meat shield. Keep working the left side. Position confirmed. Focus fire. We'll turn off one of the medium lasers. On it. Okay, we have until the hunchback arrives, and then we've got some real problems. Good to go. Uh... Head now. <laughs> that AC twenty has to go away. Tactical analysis: focus the hunchback, then the dragon. Okay, okay. I I concur. But for now, we'll take this Centurion AL out. Uh, uh, um. 
No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll hold our position here. No, 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 no. We'll... I want to block with my right leg. You should try baiting the AC-20 with a Bulwark unit. I also want to blitz with my Shadowhawk. Okay, the AL's on the move. I don't... This is not going to be very much damage. Yeah, you missed it. That's fine. I don't know if... I don't have anything they can get behind the, the Hunchback, though. That's a big problem. And the Dragon 1N shouldn't hit very hard unless the AC-5 suddenly hits massively, which, yeah, it's not gonna, I don't think so. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we have the, uh, we have the friendly turrets going, so that hopefully will maybe that'll take something out. At least it distracts them. I think that's the big thing. If the Hunchback baits onto my three mechs, then my Shadowhawk can blitz. Which will be a good thing. Bulwark plus standing and cover is deceptively tanky. Okay, okay. I think I have like two or three Bulwark guys. Okay, I think one more turn of baiting in the... Uh, baiting in the Hunchback onto my main force will be good. The Jenner, that's a heavy hitter. Okay, okay, um... Receiving you. I think we'll start slowly backing up. We'll start slowly backing up, trying to bait the, uh... Bait the Hunchback into us. And buying ourselves more time. Uh, do I want to keep working on that guy? Maybe I'll take the Jenner out. The Jenner out... The Jenner is pretty... Or do, or do I go for the Hunchback? Uh, the Hunchback is a timer. I don't... I think it's game over if the Hunchback starts getting some good AC shots on us. So I guess we start working on the Hunchback. I don't know. I'm splitting fire a lot. Game being nice to you, Mr. Orange Slime? I don't know. It's our first real fight. My, my Shadowhawk's on like no leg armor and he's he's the guy that's got to get all the way over here past like this whole lance of boys i hear ya we'll see if r and jesus is nice oh god this is so bad i'm splitting fire so much i read you commander moving out. i i don't i can't i can't it's so tempting to go for the jenner though because the jenner is going to be a big problem too it's so tempting to go for the jenner here 50. We're at full precision. Ah, uh, this is so bad. Am I new to the tactical Battletech game? Uh, no, I just haven't touched it for like years. I haven't touched it for years, and, and now people wanted me to play it. And I haven't finished it either, so, so I think now is a good time to, to play. We just, um, against everyone else's better judgment, I uh, decided to do this very challenging battle. Uh, I gotta see what these guys do. Okay. I think Medusa's in a good spot. We have another precision strike. Uh... Okay, we go for the Jenner here. Okay, wait, the Jenner's open. It's open on the leg, I think that was. Side torso, maybe. Solid connection on that one. All right, I need to know. I need to bait the hunchback into me. He has to not go where the shadowhawk wants to run. That was the wrong way. If you can leg a mech, the turrets will fire on it. Okay.
Okay, but he moved though. This is the only, this is our only hope. There's no way we just grind through all of this, right? And it exposes my left leg. Very cool. Um, well, let's try it and hope the dragon doesn't kill me. Go, Mr. No Jump Jet Shadow Hawk. I regret not taking a light mech now. Did you aggro onto the Shadow Hawk? Fuck. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh! Triple PPC shot under the trap. Nice. Oh! I think that's the first playthrough I saw the turrets actually kill something. Wow! The turrets are getting good. Wow! Okay, Mr. Panther. No PPC shot on my Shadowhawk's leg, please. Okay, no shots. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now is where I need to just run. Just run for your life. Um, I've got to run all the way there. Uh, uh, we get back shots, huh? We're just giving them away. Um, sprint. And I'm in melee range. Uh, uh. I think I just risk it. I think I just keep risking it for a couple rounds. I wonder if I can bring another mech behind the hunchback. That might work. If I bring another mech behind the hunchback to, if he gets in my back, I get in his back kind of thing. I think that might work. Uh, who is in range? Good to go. Glitch is a little low. The Centurion's order. fresh, and the blackjack's a little Good okay. To go. I guess you're just taking, you're just taking it. We'll start pushing our hunt, our other mechs forward to try and draw an attack. And we will just pray, uh, we will just pray that this works out for us. I think a little overheat's fine. Punching isn't a bad idea, but not completely set up for it. Wait, the Centurion's nearly out of range weaponry. Do we do we burn him out of ammo? Oh god. Oh, why did we wait a few turns? Uh okay, he ran away. I think we just keep we just keep running. We just keep, we just keep going. We keep going, we keep going. <clears throat> Alright, who has we have a rear shot? Okay, that's not that great. Uh, Jenner's got cover now, and the dragon. Uh, I think our best shot's the AL. Ooh, we can CT shot him. Okay. We'll try for the CT shot here. Nice. Okay. Is Hunchback turning around? Is it aggroing onto us? Yes. Yes. It's working. He's actually fighting the turret. Okay, that's weird. But I'll take it. Weird, but I'll take it. I try to get a few hits on the hunchy to see if you can draw it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the plan. Uh, what is this? You can attack something way over here, the panther. Okay. Yes. Locked on target. Okay. This might be where it turns. This might be where the tide turns. Not too bad. Looking good. Looking good at the moment. Looking good for now. 
Okay, our guy's sensor lock. That's kind of good. Our turret sensor lock. And they're going. Wow, these turrets are really good. I, I didn't... <clears throat> these turrets, like, never did anything good for me until uh, until this this run. Oh, <laughs> we killed another one. Okay. Okay. Eight rounds remain. Armor's holding for now. We're looking good. We're looking good. Oh, that Jenner could be a problem. That Jenner could be a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I need to get Ready the Centurion order. onto the Jenner. He's got so much evasion, though. How fast? How many turns until the the Jenner's on top of him? Not very many. He has to sprint. Sprint into cover, right? Sprint into cover. Okay, sprint into cover. Ah. Uh, do I draw? Maybe I split fire onto the Jenner? Hunchback is... Oh! Okay, okay. I didn't mess up. I didn't mess up. Waiting for orders. Uh... Oh, we have a back shot into the Hunchback. Wow. Back shot onto the hunchback. In uh, tabletop, it only has four armor there. How much armor does that have? 25, 20, 20? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Structure expo. Oh, I should have punched it with ya. glitch first. Uh -huh. I know I have to go for the Jenner, but this I think this is just too this is too good to pass up. I think rear shots into a hunchback are just too Targeting good. Enemy six. Okay. Kind of regretting not um, not shooting the uh, the LRM's last, but I think I just jumped the gun here. Uh, okay. What if we go for precision strike to the AC twenty or the CT? Forty-one percent, thirty-seven percent. Let's go for the AC twenty. Target lock on enemy's rear. Okay, not that great, but fine. But now, but the hunchback can't take another turn to that. Please, please, ammo bin. <laughs> Precision the shoulder from the rear. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I don't think the dragon is gonna kill me. It's kind of a melee mech. I think it's, I'll take the dragon. Taking internal damage. <clears throat> I'll take much rather take a dragon than a hunchback. We have sensor lock. And all the PPCs missed after the sensor lock, alright? Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> please, 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 ammo bin! Side shots, okay. Okay. Wow, they are beating up that hunchback. The clock is ticking and that dropship yep, is getting Yep, seven close. turns. I'd recommend that you now, prioritize if the Jenner gets on to us, is the big question. Okay, he missed, but he's he's he aggroed onto us. That's not good. Uh, we are near the turrets though, so they may pick up some of the slack here. I think we have good cover in, from Bulwark, but how far can we move if we sprint it? Okay. Uh, this Hunchback, or Panther, is in the way, so maybe Waiting we'll try to you, move Commander. it. Mm. The Hunchy's Standing open by. in the rear, so we'll what fire Gl Behemoth Commander. into the rear of the Hunchback again. Just while we can. 
CT destroyed. Perfect. Okay, the hunchback's out of the out of the game. So now it's only it's only really the Jenner we have to deal with. Uh, the Jenner and the Panther. Good to go. Can we stick damage onto it though? Evil defeated. They won't have LOS if you're on the walls. Right, 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 right. Uh, there's no way we grind through this entire dragon. I don't want to do that. I want to go for... I want to go for this panther here. Is it facing us? Facing the side. Uh, is there a way for us to get an angle onto the Jenner? I'm here. Can I hit the Jenner from here? I can hit the Jenner from here. We get a large laser. We get the large laser and the AC too. I'll take it. I'll take Position it. Confirmed. Any damage on that light, fast Jenner is good. Because it's made of paper, but it's, a, it's got a lot of... Uh, it's got a lot of damage. Oof, that's tough. I lost my Locust on turn 3 a few weeks ago to a Commando getting a lucky shot into its back. Yikes. Box car and double hit crit gyros. Yikes. I'm <laughs> sorry, sir. Waiting for orders. Dice can do wacky things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Vindicator. Do we get medium lasers onto this Vindicator? We do get Vindicator. Uh, I'll take a melee hit from the dragon, I guess. To potentially kill a... To potentially kill a Jenner. Uh, if I precision strike the... How much HP does it? 15. Okay, we'll precision strike the rear and the Jenner. Right arm, right torso destroyed. Okay, that's a lot. Want some more, huh? And now we run slick. I think I just want to sprint him. I think I just want to all out sprint him to the objective. Yeah, I've definitely had uh, some unlucky things. Which is why when I play um, Tabletop Classic, I do am finding that I like having more than uh, more than four mechs. I like playing with six, like 8k BV in Secession Warrior with six mechs. Um, just because if you lose a mech, um, it's not the end of the world. Whereas if that happens in... Um, a pounding, Commander. If that happens in uh, four on four, you're pretty much done. Okay, and then our allies are helping us out with the Jenner. Nice. And as long as the Panther does not wreck us, we're fine. Oh, looks like the Panther's getting wrecked itself. Nice. <clears throat> Where is the ammo on a Jenner? I don't remember. It's, uh... It's generally pretty, like... Um, it's very fast. Um, but low armor. I don't, I don't, I, I can't for the life of me, sorry, remember where the ammo bin is. I believe, thankfully, it only has one ammo bin. Um, if you're playing classic, I would say try the F. Drops the SRM, but it's a lot more forgiving. Although I will say, um, there is something very tempting about that, um, that, that original Jenner. But yeah, if you're playing in, like, a campaign, definitely run the F. Um, you just, if you run the D, you just can't make mistakes. But it is very nice. Okay, uh, we complete the mission. We complete the mission. So we run this way. Full throttle. And then now this guy's on our doorstep. Uh, glitch is Commander? low, but we have all day to to deal with this guy. Like. We can just shoot all our mechs onto him. Uh, the Panther is like a fire support, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, if we fire Medusa. Where has the ammo been on this thing? I want to look. I know it had bad ammo, uh, kind of bad ammo bins. Let's see. Wait, it doesn't tell us. Uh, okay, I guess that's fine then, just fire. <clears throat> really it doesn't tell us where okay uh lrm ammo on the left torso so that is the actually we can we can rotate to a better position if we move to this left side we can start attacking him uh here here's good 
will way. increase our chances to hit uh, the, the ammo location. Precision strike? We may as well. Left torso. Is that the left? Yes, left torso. Fire. <laughs> It's not really a general with the SRMs. It's just a laser javelin that looks weird. Laser javelin with more, uh, with more armor. But yeah, v true. Fair point, I suppose. Fair point. How much ammo do we have? We have 240 rounds of ammo. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And onto the left side too. Location Perfect. Confirmed. Our vindicator is really in it. Uh, can we afford to push this medium laser? No. Alright, that's fine. Uh, can we precision strike? No? Okay. Alright. Take this dragon out. Minimal casualties. Structure exposed. Looking good. good to go. Glitch. Now, glitch. <clears throat> I think she hits harder with her Light lasers. Matter. So we will stay out of... We won't melee here. We'll just try and hit that left torso with the ammo in it. It's got 59. Okay, we got one hit on the torso. Okay, okay, we're looking okay. I do like the... I did run the Jenner F, uh, the Jenner F but, I, but I get what you mean. Oh, the dragon's retreating. Interesting. He's scared. His ammo bin will explode. Do you? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't had the. Uh, I haven't had the. <laughs> I wasn't brave enough to run the Jenner D in my campaign. We need more melee. Are there melee weapons in this? Um, in this game. Do you get melee melee mons in this? Game? Oh no, you do, right? Does it show up on the model? SRMs complement the Alpha Strike. Only if you get the DLC with the hatchment. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you they do have like melee weapons, but they, they don't actually show up on the actual figures. Alright. So we got away with murder here. And our shadow hook is on the objective. So we'll just move and alpha strike. Five rounds is plenty, as long as our shadow hawk doesn't randomly just explode. Fire everything. Nice! He one-shot it. Well done, Commander. Miss Meyer, are you inbound? Roger that, Lady Arano. I'm marking an LZ on your screen, Commander. Proceed to the designated coordinates for evac. Wait, we have to get to the evac zone now. <laughs> so we gotta kill everything. Okay. Um, We'll continue to work on... His left, I guess. <laughs> Did we win? Uh, we have to get the evac zone, which means we have to grind our way through the rest of this stuff. But I think we're close. Pretty close. Closer to winning. Closer to winning. Ready for orders. All right, let's try and take out this dragon here. You gotta flee now. Flee! It's just a panther and a dragon left. Right, so we just alpha strike on the left side. Nice, okay, so no ammo crit. Okay. Targets take a critical hit. And we just alpha strike with Behemoth. We're fine here. I can We can take yeah, we can take a dragon and a panther with all the crits up. CT destroyed, okay, now it's just a panther again. I remember running around the other side of the dropship like a coward to the LZ. <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe these, uh, maybe these guys, um, wreck them for us. There's something that I want to do, um, for you guys, before, um, before we end stream. There's something that I, I want to do. Okay, okay, we got fishing sets. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something I want to do, there's something I want to do. There's something that I would like to do that we haven't done in a while. That we haven't done in a while, Commander. Uh, 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Haven't done this in a while. Okay, okay, okay. All right. For all of you that are here, for all of you that are here, we are going to do something that we haven't done in a while. We're re res re resurrecting an old tradition here. <laughs> we are resurrecting the slime raid, okay? For those of you who have not been here, brave souls, brave soldiers, who have not been here, the slime raid is where we do this. You have to look into your emojis. <clears throat> and do this. You do this like that, okay? That is the message of our raid. And our new raid target is this person here. But quietly enter their stream Quietly enter their stream. Click the link. Click the link. It is another VTuber. A cute, purple-haired VTuber girl. All right? And on the signal, on the signal, we will all spam Slime Raid and enjoy her stream. Because I enjoy her stream, and you should too. She's a very cute uh, anime, anime girl with purple hair, okay? Ready? <laughs> Prepare for combat drop, Commander. Don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget the message, okay? Three, two. Don't forget to spam the message. One, go. Spam the message. Go now, Commander. Place the message, slime ray. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there, Commander. Go, more slime raids. I want to see it. Bye bye.